And so it's like, I'm not trying to say that ju like stealing is always justified. It's not that you should steal. It's not that stealing is good. I just don't necessarily love the virtue signaling over seeing someone stealing and then people going all crazy over it. Um, I disagree with everything Ali said, like just from the get go, everything you said was just wrong. I don't want to hear another liberal use the word food desert referenced in San Francisco ever again. It is because of the shoplifting that you promote by not prosecuting and by turning the other way as Ali promoted, which causes the food deserts that you struggle from, which is why y'all are obese and eat McDonald's. Hey, Ooh. welcome, 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 one and all, to yet another episode of WIC TV, a cross ideological space where we come together to talk about issues political and cultural, from the silly to the serious. And today, gang, we have a show for shoplifting, theft, dealing. Under what condition Mandatory. is it acceptable? to steal and from whom <clears throat> is it ever okay to steal is it is stealing actually praxis in certain cases um we're going to find out and we have brought together a team of lovely individuals and it should be fun we have some first time guests on my show but not first time i've seen most of them and uh i think to start we are going to go to Ali. Go ahead. Is it Al Ali? Ali? I don't know how to say your name. Ali. Ali. I'll try to remember yeah. that. What's your take here? Give us a brief opening, please. Um. Yeah, so it's like, I'm not trying to say that ju like stealing is always justified. It's not that you should steal. It's not that stealing is good. I just don't necessarily love the virtue signaling over seeing someone stealing and then people going all crazy over it. Um... Especially when it comes to like people seeing from like bigger companies or corporations, uh, they're trying to convince you that they're the victim in the in the situation. When it's like, it doesn't really matter. Theft and shrinkage and uh, all of that only accounts for like three percent of the losses incurred by the company, and these are like losses that are already expected by the company, which is why insurances don't cover it. It wouldn't make any sense. Plus, the companies would already in like inflate those prices if that were to happen. Um, and then like, uh. The amount of shoplifting that happens is ultimately negligible. Like, it's a victimless crime. No one's actually being affected. I know people are going to say that the workers or the community is being affected, and that's usually at the hands of the company, so I don't see how that's the shoplifter's fault. And then for people going out and, like, as a customer, you have absolutely no responsibility to follow a shoplifter, report on them. If you see someone stealing, no, you didn't. Okay, thanks for being here, gang. Uh, Ali's coming in hot with the theft takes. We'll see how it goes. Lauren, what do you think? Oh, okay. Well, um, I disagree with everything Ali said, like just from the get go, everything you said was just wrong. Um, yes, except for the part where he tried to um, straw man my argument, where he's like, oh, they'll say that the communities and the workers are being hurt. Fuck yeah, I will. The communities and the workers will be getting hurt. Um, like, look at San Francisco, for instance. They're taking away Walgreens. They're taking away um, so many grocery stores. I don't want to hear another liberal use the word food desert in, in reference to San Francisco ever again. Because it is because of the shoplifting that you promote by not prosecuting and by turning the other way as Ali promoted, which causes the food deserts that you struggle from, which is why y'all are obese and eat McDonald's. Um, no, there's there's so many losses to the communities. That's why the kids are fat because of the food deserts. You have so many losses to, um, to, to a pretty much everyone involved, including the shoplifter. Um, so yeah. Oh, well, thanks for being here. In a we're going to have an interesting discussion. I can tell already. Karl Max, not to be confused with Karl Marx. Go ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Wick. Um, now, my opinion is that shoplifting, uh, though it can often be unnecessary for people from certain groups, from people from, for people from others, it can be, uh, you know, I think pretty justified. Um, there are 10% of Americans living in um, food insecurity, plenty of people who end up going hungry, have meals, uh, end up mi skipping meals uh, because they can't afford to have more. And in a system that permits that kind of thing, 
um, especially when it affects like kids and pretty innocent people. Uh, I think shoplifting is a is a pretty valid um, valid way out of that. So yeah, that's my belief. Well, we'll get into it as we go. Thanks for being here. Looking forward to it in the future. President Sunday. Long time no see. <clears throat> hey. So as uh, my esteemed colleague or enemy on the upper left, I'm still not entirely sure, has uh, argued, I think quite eloquently, there is no ethical basis for stepping at shoplifting as a social ill. It is a symptom of something actually grave and unethical on the part of entities with actual power. The basic products we rely on are acquired by large retailers through vicious exploitation, and people are de facto extorted out of a basic standard of living and dignity by unnecessarily high prices. However, shoplifting under certain conditions can impact the community negatively by providing the propagandistic pretext for increased policing and the outrageous spectacle of some instances of ridiculous or frivolous appearing acts of shoplifting can turn lower class people against one another in favor of their own surveillance. As ethically concerned commentators, I think we should turn a blind eye to shoplifting as its root is ultimately in more systemic injustices that will not be solved by increased policing or surveillance, but by the same token, certain kinds of shoplifting that deprive other members of the community of products, for instance, or create a propagandistic boon to pro-police and surveillance advocates should be discouraged because these in fact turn the working class against each other and against their own interests by extension. Hey, thank you for being here and get into it as we go. Order box, what you got? As a couple of very wise debaters once said to me on the internet, um, even if you can imagine a perfectly ethical and no issues incestuous relationship, it's probably worth considering what would happen if this was applied as a general rule. And the general problem with uh, incestuous relationships is that you get uh, basically a minefield of abuse and problematic relationships, which is probably why it's better to have it as a general rule, don't do it. Um, by the same token, shoplifting, if um, normalized, can lead to shops closing, it can lead to prices going up, it can lead to um, what often goes with increased shoplifting is increased violence against staff and other issues. So yeah, um, the victims of shoplifting are usually directly or indirectly the staff and the other uh, people shopping there. Uh, not a good thing to do. Generally, don't do it. Feeling bad, brave take. We'll see how it works out for them. Last, but certainly not least, um, someone who hasn't been on in a while, but we're glad to have him back. Straighter Aid, what you got? So my opening statement really is not to defend shoplifting, merely to state that it is not all theft or shoplifting is created equal. And to anybody who thinks that any upticks in shoplifting is the result of per personal pathologies like kleptomania or OCD, that really isn't what leads people to shoplift entirely. People do shoplift out of need, out of de desperation or perceived sense of de um, desperation or deprivation. And even earlier when somebody said that like about uh, they were talking about shrinkage, which is how shoplifting is usually estimated. You said it amounts for 3%. It's actually not even that much. It's usually about 1.4%, mm -hmm. and that's according to the National Retail Foundation. And even from there, you can break up retail shrink to three different sections, which is theft done by people like customers, theft done by employees, employers themselves, and then items lost to damage. So we're talking about 0.4, I think 4-7% of things being shoplifted annually. And if anybody's even worried about that, uh, there is currently legislation, the Combating Organized Retail Crime Act of 2023, which sits in both the Senate and the House that is attempting to target this. So anybody who thinks that this country is suddenly going soft on uh, crime or like punitive measures related to shoplifting, you're wrong. And wouldn't it make more sense that people were shoplifting, would you rather hand them a jail or prison sentence for what is usually a nonviolent crime or just the resources that they probably need. So, you know, as, as, as to quote the great MLK, you know, shoplifting is the language of the unheard, you know? Okay, so <laughs> if someone is shoplifting, just give them more stuff and they will stop. Brave take. We'll see how it goes. And with that, the floor is open. Um, just try to not, no slurs, nothing toss, but otherwise go for it. What are you thinking? We just Lord, got some obvious ones out of the way. You people hmm? what we get caught stealing and shoplifting. Say that one more time, Alec. Ali. When when uh, did I say that you shouldn't you, that you shouldn't get caught? Like you shouldn't be prosecuted for shoplifting or stealing if you're caught. Who are you talking to? Lauren. I, you said that I said that you, yeah, you said that I said that people shouldn't be prosecuted that when they're caught shoplifting. And you said that you should look the other way. That you I said if you're a if you're a customer. 
if you, if you're a bystander, yeah, why why are you how are you going to prosecute anybody? Why should you go out of your way to report somebody or like like? It, you know? Let me ask you this: If you find if someone if you watch someone commit murder against another person, are you going to call them in? Yeah. Okay, you know you're not legally required to, right? Yes. Okay, so in the same sense, you're not legally required to call in shoplifters, but you are morally required. I don't think you're morally required. You're morally required to call in a victim of murder or like a murder that's happening 100%. There's an actual victim at, like right there. Oh, Who's, the the Who's the victim when you're shoplifting? Who's the victim when you're shoplifting? people that you're stealing from. Who? Uh, just just point of information, this is not from. universally the case. So, for example, I'm reading here off of torontodefenselawyers.com. I don't know if that's... Under Section 22 of the Criminal Code of Canada, if an individual has an awareness of a crime because they've witnessed the crime or have been told the crime has occurred, and by not reporting this crime to the police service or other relevant agency, this individual is in some way aiding or abetting the crime to take place, they may be charged with counseling an offense. Sorry, uh, Canada is different than America. So are we talking about American law or Canadian law? Well, we're talking generally. I'm in Canada. Well, I... The... He's in we the can UK. argue the legality. I'm more interested in the morality, to be clear. Ali, He's you said, the the I think, Ali, in the beginning of your opening statement, you said um, that what if you see shoplifting, you didn't. Was that not what you said at the end of your statement? Yeah. So, but you are okay with shoplifters getting prosecuted? If you get caught, yeah, absolutely. But how, how are they going to get caught if, if you see shoplifting, you didn't? Security gonna, measure, should... you, the store should have security. The security would catch the shoplifter. So not security the should customer, catch shoplifters and they should get prosecuted. put themselves in danger by out here trying to report, record, or follow the shoplifter. That makes no sense. Yeah, the customers are allowed to do what they will in order to help the store owner that is the victim in this particular case. Now, it's up to each individual customer to determine how much they care about it. But if they care enough to... You know, protect someone else's property. They're allowed can to, I, uh, and, for, and then put themselves well, in can danger. I, can I ask the panel what is y'all's okay. threshold before you would report shoplifting that you're seeing somebody in the commission of? I would. I mean, I would do anything I could to report it and prevent it. If even you saw, yeah. even even yeah. if you saw yeah. like a like a mother stealing baby formula, would you report that? Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. So, or like a father what? stealing socks. <laughs> The would criminality you will beat you to the formula and corrupt the child. Well, first of all, I would question. try to stop them. If I saw like a mother stealing formula, I'd probably mm -hmm. stop her and try to talk to her, possibly buy it for her. But like possibly. at the same time, Maybe. I would, it, yeah, it would really depend on the circumstance. Mm -hmm. What if you're attacked by the shoplifter? What? What's your I'm, I'm you're, you're, you're assuming that this is a responsibility that we should all take, that we're morally responsible to. I said. I said each and shoplifter has their own ability to determine how much they're willing to care about the uh, owner of the store, and they're making their own determinations based off the situation. But for you to blatantly say that all people shopping should not make it their concern, and that not they should be one hundred. Okay, part of living in society is that it is your concern for the people around you to make sure that you care about your general citizen. That is an excellent point. Lauren, can I ask you a question? Would you would you be offended if I asked you a particular question? Yes. Suppose somebody had somebody locked in their basement making a product for them they then sold on the street. Would you do anything to stop them from doing so? Wait, stop them from keeping the person restrained from keeping the person keeping the person locked in their basement making a product for them that they then sell on the street what legs would, would you go do to stop anything that person? in my power to anything in your power them. really so if, for example so for yeah. example if you walked into a walmart and you saw boxes said saying made in bangladesh and you knew that that week a fire had killed all the workers inside of a bangladeshi sweatshop supplying walmart because they had locked the doors on them you would do anything to stop that yeah I would do anything in my power to stop that. Well, I mean, have you? It's been a few years now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I boycott certain places that do uh, child labor. You would, you would, you would just not buy well, from her, the kidnapper with the kid in his basement. Or, I right. do everything with, like, as I keep saying, I do everything within my power. Now, if I were in Bangladesh, if I had the ability to open the door, if I had the ability to call the police, I would do that as well. If I had the ability to stop, the, I would do anything within my power to help the people. I try to buy responsibly. What I try if, not to buy fast uh, What about, what about, what about, what about, by, what about uh, appropriating, things. what about appropriating the product to keep them from profiting from doing so in the future? 
appropriate. You mean copyright infringement or patent no, infringement? No, he means what are you stealing. Like shoplifting. No, I meant I meant copyright infringement. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I would be against copyright infringement, and I would do anything in my power. Yes. All right, as go on. Opinion. Sorry, as you were. Okay. Uh, that I, is I just I just want to say that when I. Please. When I hear someone say, if you see someone shoplifting, you didn't, that sounds like you're saying the shoplifting is okay. That's why they, because. No, like, no, not at all. I don't think that's prescriptive. Well, I don't let, think let, it's no, that's prescriptive let at all. Go. Let Loader go. Come on. We've got to give him like, space. Okay, go sorry. Ahead. Because, yeah, when usually, I think usually when people say that, it sounds like they're saying it because they think shoplifters shouldn't get in trouble. But like, obviously, if you're in the shop, you don't have a moral obligation to tell, to stop the shoplifter. But it's like, if you want, um, the question is like, if you want to, are you okay with them just going up to security and being like that person shoplifted? Because when you say if you see a shoplifter, you didn't. You're, it sounds like you're saying they shouldn't do that. So I think yeah, the, if you feel I, if you feel like it's your responsibility to go out of your way and follow someone and report on them and take that risk. I mean, sure, that's one hundred percent up to you. Like, and I don't, I just don't understand why you would. And I don't think it's a prescriptive measure. I'm not saying people should shoplift. I'm just saying that the responsibility isn't on the clients and honestly it isn't even on the workers most of the time it's on the okay. business you if you have a shoplifting issue hire security if you don't if the cost of security is outweighing i, I, I want to respond to box very quickly and then i'm going to be silent yeah so i'm just saying minutes, that the okay? cost of security outweighs it, the cost of great, the loss it, compared by shoplifting it doesn't matter so then okay yeah. okay when people say you didn't see it they're not saying prescriptively you should all go out and shoplift what they're saying is that you and as an observer under a situation which people are being intensely exploited, prices are rising ahead of inflation. Da, 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 da. There are reasons you cannot perceive why an individual might be doing this that might actually be really important and might actually have uh, reporting it might cause significantly more negative overall. You just don't know. If you see somebody shoplifting, especially food, you didn't. That's not saying prescriptively, hey, you should go shoplift. That's saying you as an observer, all you see is the surface level act of shoplifting. Don't get involved. Yeah, so I guess there's yeah. It comes to a question of threshold because I think most people, maybe not Lauren, but most people are probably okay with like if you're gonna if you're hungry, you should steal like stealing a loaf of bread is probably fine. Yeah. If you're a mother who can't divide. afford, if you're a mother you I can't think afford you baby formula. I think mo I'm just speaking on behalf of like most people. I think because I think most people are probably okay with sorry, with stealing baby formula if like you can't afford it otherwise, and your kid's gonna like be malnourished. Why? But, um, why can't you go to if, a soup kitchen why can't you go why can't you get food in legitimate processes why can't I'm, you beg for food? i'm posing i'm you posing a hypothetical money. there's nothing wrong with um asking for money handling. i'm posing a hy i'm posing a hypothetical which is when there's no alternative so lauren if there's if the only thing you can do is steal a loaf of bread or you will starve is it okay to steal a loaf of bread then that's never the only thing you could do. Okay, but that's, that's why a it's a hypothetical. It's, it's, it's a no, 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 that's no, no, no. the point in a hypothetical. It's to Lauren, demonstrate the principle. That's not the point of a hypothetical. That is okay, no, but Lauren, Lauren, it's yeah, not simple. Yeah, telling simple. people they should beg instead yeah, of what? steal is what a wild time, take time, to know. And we have to, Carl Max has been patient. Thank the, you. It's the it's the Ebenezer Thank Scrooge, are there not prisons? But we will, I want to make sure Loner got to finish their point. And if Loner has finished their point, then we're going to go... And kick it to, to Max. I'm not quite. Fit. I think I I think that's the boring part of the argument. I think the more interesting part of the argument is the fact that like it seems to be the case that a lot of shoplifting is either for profit or just because of people doing it for a kick. I think there was a study from 2008 that found that um, actually people who earn more than seventy thousand dollars a year are more likely to steal than people who earn less than twenty thousand. And people talking about as if it's like language of the unheard or some kind of praxis. I just don't buy that at all. I think normalized shoplifting hurts consumers, not uh, the. Uh, the studies I've looked at, it tends to oscillate. No. It tends to oscillate between the lowest earners and then slightly higher than that. They seem to shoplift less than slightly higher than that. It's 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 weird. Max. Um, Max. Max. Yeah. Okay. I want to say on on the on the point of like food uh, soup kitchens and that kind of thing. Um, there has been data on this in the United States, uh, the 2020 uh, United States Hunger Atlas. Uh, they revealed that 22.5% of feeding programs were forced to turn people away, and 11% of them uh, reported that they didn't even have enough food to distribute. So to act like you can always just go somewhere else, especially if you're in a place with high poverty and high hunger, you will have more people dependent on it, and especially if the economy is more fucked, then you're going to have a sudden like upturn in people going there, and it's going to be hard to distribute enough resources. So to act like there's always another option isn't really accurate in america in america it's very unlikely that you're to gonna have to steal to so like, eat there right no this is from america i'm referencing well, american data no but yeah, i think the thing the that's important to like draw attention to though is that the majority of people who shoplift even out of need like for example if you need 
food, you need toiletries, hygienic materials, basic necessities, it's way easier to get away with stealing items that you can resell and then take that money and feed yourself or depend on it as opposed to trying to steal a whole loaf of bread, which is worth you 350 You can just easily conceal yeah. three DVDs, a video game, or something like that. The difficulty is, is that from the vantage point of everybody else, nobody has any way of assessing whether or not you're stealing Halo 3 or like something petty because you're intending to like sell it to a fence or organize retail operation or to somebody on the street for cash quickly, or you're doing it for petty personal consumption. Just well, then, then it's that. okay to steal anything. That's point. Then no, anything you can steal is okay. okay. No, no, no. Why that's not what I'm saying. I'm trying to One at a time, time, one at a time. I know I'm, I'm liking this energy. I do. But we, I can't hear everyone when everyone tries to speak over each other. Lorna, respond. I see you. I see you, Lauren. I will get to you. I promise. But I want to I want to do the straighter aid and Lorna back and forth for a brief moment, please. Oh, mm -hmm. well, yeah, because if you say someone is stealing like all the razors from because they're very small and expensive and you can sell them on the black market or whatever. Well, mm -hmm. they, even we can say, well, we don't know if they're doing that to feed an entire family and otherwise they'll be all malnourished and shit like that. But then that means like uh, you should turn a blind eye to all shoplifting. Because no, you that's never not know. what follows from what I'm saying. I'm just talking about uh, the just the the ambiguity of the situation, and that if we're only going to make the assessment that we know for sure this group of shoplifters is is stealing based off of need, and the way that we assess that is the materials that they're actually shoplifting, and it has to be certain items like food or whatever. I think there's still going to actually be people that fall into the like shoplifting out of need category, but they're literally trying to get like the most out of the crime, right? So again, like why are they going to try to shoplift an entire carton of eggs when you can shoplift a different way and turn it into a more lucrative thing? This is why so much crime like well, so my question to you so, then like, my so question on. to you would then would be that if someone is stealing like uh again, if someone's just stealing a bunch of like uh razors then and yeah, there's a non zero chance that they're doing it out of what you think is need, mm -hmm. then what should happen to people who shoplift like just any product? Should they just be left to do it? Or what do you think the moral right should be there? No, I think it's very difficult because if you're asking me like what I would do in that personal situation, and this kind of feeds off of what um, Ali was saying earlier, which is I think he was kind of placing like asking people who feel that who are making the prescription that it's a moral compulsion that like you must um, prescribe to people to report them to security or whatever. He's like, why not? What obligation do you have to report that? Because you are not actually bound by any legal or monetary contract with that employer or whatever. If you're doing that, I guess you're just going off the, the kind of like a golden rule of do unto others as you would do unto you. And you don't want people to steal from you. So you should do it. Like, would I personally do it? No, I, pr I like, but I wouldn't report the... anybody for shoplifting, but so that's the I will say question, I wouldn't, I wouldn't but... begrudge anybody who reported them. So yeah, that's what I'm asking is what is what you think should happen to them, not what uh, you as a bystander would do yourself or what other costs, but like what should ha should what should the should there be a penalty for stealing the entire shelf of razors or not? Basically? Catch them. Hire well, security be... if you have a problem with shoplifting. Well, they, hmm? they do. Oh should they, they do, and they they've do. done so. This is one of the they problems that, that the I raise highlight. In prices, so which causes... no, that's Lauren, not the Lauren, 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 in, uh, I, I want to give Lauren a space. Lauren, go ahead. Sunday, I see you in the wings. You're next, Lauren. Okay, so I have so many space, issues bro. with so many things that I've been said that it's hard to like, but I, let's just start with Straighter Aid's uh, necessity angle here where they're in so dire need of food that they're stealing, you know, hundreds of hundred dollar items so in order to resale later for, do you know, like the process it takes to resell later, it takes not, it's not instantaneous. So the determination of need, necessity, hunger, true pain and hunger until you need food is not going to be the type of planning where you're stealing large items and then reselling it later for like, if you're hey, truly to the point of hunger, in which you Lauren. feel the need to steal. Most Lauren, people don't allow themselves to get to how, that how, point, though, is what how, I'm saying. How, Most majority how, of people won't actually wait till they're starving before they start committing well, crimes. Well, then, then it's not a need thing. Then it's Lauren, a Lauren, I got a question for you. I got a question for you. How deep must an individual be able to insert their finger between their ribs before it becomes need? They need to be dying. There you go. They need yeah. to be hungry enough where they're not able to withstand the 
the hunger pain. Really? So you mean cells? hungry enough where they can't work, they can't clothe themselves, they can't raise their kids, they can't pay for their bills, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera? That doesn't seem very. If they're going to start seem stealing, very positive, it seems if like they're going to start disaster. stealing, and we're going to make it morally okay to steal at this point, they're so so. But it is morally okay to steal. The things that they are stealing are the products of vast, okay work, vast degrees of so. theft on on a scale no shoplifter is capable of replicating. Why, why is it not okay for me to steal from you? Why is because it not there's okay an immediate for you to steal from There's an effect immediately to the person that you're stealing from. Subspecie eternitatis, from the universe a obviously doesn't register no a difference. Taken. There's two people talking at once. My bad. Let try that again. You're counting for 3%, one, like I said, 1.4 to 3% of losses incurred by these companies due to theft by outside external sources. There's no actual victim here. When you steal from Walmart, no there one is actually victims. being, who is, who is being hurt when you steal from a Walmart or from a Lauren, store? Okay, Lauren, how much you, money do you think Walmart made? Let me tell you who's being no, hurt. No, no, that's not the question. The question is how much profit percentage does they make? Well, let let her, let her What about her shareholders, Bob? You got, gang, you got to let her answer. She's been a little dog piled out. I'm going to give her some more space so she can respond to all of you. You all get a chance, I promise. But you got to give her space. Let's go. Let's hear you. Okay, the people who are hurt by the shoplifting in the immediate is the store owner. So, like, if it's a franchise store, it would be the owner of that store. And then if it's – so you could just scale this up, scale it down, right? He's laughing, but he has an issue when I individually rob him. But what if he has a family? No, so now it's a familial – no, Now it. I'm saying – that's yeah. a joke. I do. You don't have any, so okay. So if I if I rob one person, it's an issue. If I rob a family, but if you rob a hundred people and oh, burn them down inside a sweatshop, yeah. let, let her go. Yeah, go, let her go. Man. Yeah. yeah, it's wild. I can't. I like literally can't even get a sentence in. Huh. Um. So you're trying to say like there's some sort of scale of number of people in which it makes it okay in order to commit the theft. However, it's not yeah. okay because it yeah. it doesn't matter the scale. It's still affecting and even when it's large scale then it doesn't just affect one person it affects a large plethora of people and whether or not you think they're wealthy enough that they could withstand it they're gonna have to take their stores and remove their stores from certain locations you see this in san francisco in particular you see walgreens closing you see nordstrom's closing can so we talk about walgreens for a second can finish. we talk about the walgreens okay. of nordstrom's she's Pittsburgh been monologuing quickly like she's had a lot of time to talk walgreens. i think max should be allowed to reply people that shop at nordstrom's would you then, oh, okay. then you question why it's happening so specifically in that neighborhood no why isn't that why isn't that not happening in mass everywhere Max. It's happening all over the country. So not enough to where places are shutting, not shutting down regularly. Most got companies you, are not you, shutting you, down you, because you, of you. Okay, gang, 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 gang. I'm gonna. I, I don't want to. I want. I like the back and forth. But if I have to, I'm going to start meeting people who aren't. Is it, it's not their turn. Um, well, yeah. I we don't were, know if I had the screaming capacity for this. I thought we were doing the best. Otherwise referred to as external theft is responsible for 37% of retail shrink. According to the most recent survey, retail shrinkage has become a $100 billion issue in 2021. $100 billion out of how much, though? Three bill oh, how much $3 billion dollars a year. Wait, last, last year, Walmart reported $3 billion loss oh. due to shrinkage. They also made $611 billion due to revenue. So I mean, like... Wait, wait, wait. wait. If you're doing numbers there's only one number that that's matters, why they're okay? shutting one, down stores? there's only one there's only one number that matters because when we're talking about enough shoplifting to close a store which has happened the question is for the i guess the marxist economists and all that shit like what's the profit rate of an average grocery retailer percentage can we talk wait, 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 wait you guys are conflating okay 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 stop 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 oh my god i haven't had a panel that this was this hard to moderate in a while um i did not expect this but we'll go with it um, I'm sorry we disappointed that's a good you. Question? Rick. No, you haven't disappointed me. This is good. Um, Loaderbox had a question. I want Max to take the first shot at it, and Max also wanted to talk about Walgreens. I'm curious where he wants to go with that. Let's go in that order. Max. I've, oh, I've, someone could tell me the profit rate of uh, the before, average grocery start, retailer. I, can I just before we continue? Can I just ask one question? Raise of hands for everybody. It's a raise of hands. Concise, question. brief. Have brief. you ever? Have you ever shot? Have you ever shoplifted? Ever in your life? Anyone here? 
My understanding of the debt on Walgreens is that they uh, they overpaid security. They they ramped the security to a crazy amount, and that was actually the resp the uh, cause of them. Well, I don't I don't even so, know. Overspent. Okay. So let's Sorry, let the Walgreens the... executive yes. said that he complained too much. They like literally they yeah. they shut down. Uh, they said in January this is not petty theft. It's actually gangs going into our stores and stealing stuff. It's a real issue. And then a year later, he rolled that back and he said probably we put in too much and we might step back a little bit from that. Uh, he said of security. Security staffing. The company has found private security guards to be largely ineffective in, in deterring theft. Uh, so instead, it's putting up more and more enforcement officers. They basically said that they bitch too much, and Walgreens has more um, loses more to theft than like other companies do, right? So this goes I, against uh, your Warren. argument because Ali was saying that the solution to all of this is well, if you're having issues with theft, then hire more security. Well, if the security is ineffective and it's costly. Well, then the solution is not to do that. that you're, 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 you're approaching the issue at the head, then right? You need to take it at the stem. Have, There's a reason that like, a lot of these people are shoplifting, right? They're not just doing it out of nowhere. Do you think most of the shoplifting is done by people who are like starving, though? Because if you look at the most commonly shoplifted goods, it's like games, laptops, alcohol, like meat, if cheese, look coffee. At the most, um, yeah, meat, cheese, coffee, fucking baby formula, that kind of thing. There alcohol. are a lot of things that are stolen uh, and are very, very of, necessary. Of, of, is coffee fact? necessary? Yes. Is, is alcohol coffee, yes, necessary? Really people, quick, yes, if stop. they have night shifts, Everyone, coffee will be necessary. This is a, this is a thing that I oh did look God, up okay. and I have confirmed. Baby clothes aren't necessary. Usually, we can work without clothes. Drugs. <laughs> Our forefathers did so. They worked in the mines, okay, dangling. I will you because no one's listening to me when I'm talking, and you're not going to do that to me. Okay, so, yeah, baby formula is stolen primarily to cut drugs. Most of the people stealing baby formula aren't trying to feed their babies. They're doing it because it's a safe, effective way to cut their drugs so they actually have less drug to sell. That's why they're What's doing the it. What's the source? Uh, I yeah, what is the source on How would you determine this? Aaron, Aaron, I have a but, question for Aaron. How would wait, Aaron, Lauren, I had one for you. Do you think that Walgreens is more likely to shut down because of competitors like Amazon or because of loss incurred through retail theft? Loss incurred through retail theft in certain locations. Especially okay, I like disagree. Like, I think what is putting Walgreens out of business is other competitors like e-commerce and Amazon. I literally walked into a Walgreens yesterday and interviewed the person who worked I don't there care about your anecdotes. No one here cares the about Walgreens your anecdotes. in my neighborhoods are doing fine. Yeah, hey, but I told Aaron, you. Aaron, why haven't you shoplifted? Because I have no need to. Coward. Okay. Then Allie, why, why haven't, you, haven't shoplifted? you shoplifted? Uh, I'm, I'm not going to lie. There have been times in, there have been wait, times wait, wait, where I, I want to Wait, really quick. I want to know why Lauren hasn't shoplifted before. Because I'm morally against it. Yeah. So brave. Okay, Whoa. Ali, continue. I mean, honestly, there have been times but, where I, Lauren, I wanted something, I didn't have the money for it. Lauren, I or like, Lauren, are you morally oh, yeah. against? Are you morally against purchasing products from companies that engage in slave labor to supply yeah. their shelves? Yeah. But oh, you, are you? Are but you do. Like, but you do. No, I don't. Yes, you, you do. do. Where's your Where's your shirt from? What brand is the jacket you're wearing right now, or the sweater, whatever it this is? This is from California Aggies. This is my UCB California sweater. Aggies. Research time. Yeah. How do you spell that? I'm just going to well, be quick and say that like child you, labor has a lot less to do with most consumer goods than you guys all think. But okay, um, no, like, not just child you labor, slave labor. From, you can look at the example of uh, New York City. Like I think, I th like uh, in New York City, I think like a third of the shoplifting arrests involved like less than 350 people. So. Yeah. Yeah, you can say, um, but, but uh, like the, the people who are like, the, I guess, the not so anti shoplifting side, uh, what do you think should be done about that? Because so far from Aaron, we've got like, well, they were I wouldn't say anything about it. Let Loner follow the goddamn Gang, you got to let Loner finish his question, then you can answer it. Loner, So I guess from Aaron, I got something that sounded kind of like a vague, well, we don't know if they're doing it to feed families or to just make a profit, so I wouldn't do anything. What do you think should be done for them? I never got an answer to that question. I'm not going to risk my personal safety to stop a shoplifter i have I'm no idea asking, if they're armed or not the easy can, question can, which no one is asking is what can you, you accept would do personally. it's what you think should i, I want to answer this i want to answer this Wonder 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 same, weren't these same okay. 237 Quick. individual chill weren't these same in 237 individuals arrested over six thousand times okay Wick, yes but they this? were not they haven't been prosecuted that's why they keep oh, wait, wait, who fault is that Loner, that's would what you I'm asking you. I'm they asking should be prosecuted. Okay, I want to answer this. I want to answer this seriously. Done. That's the issue. What's the problem? I want to answer this seriously. Wait, wait, they I should be answer... jailed. Yes. What's wrong with being jailed? Jail? What's wrong with no, that? No, so, yes. Okay, oh, so what's wrong with being jailed, dude? Chill. Wait, chill. I'm trying to hear him. 
I want Ali and Lonerbox. That's the only people I want to hear from right now. Lonerbox and Ali. Go, Ali. Yeah, sorry. So I, my bad. So I got one answer. Well, they should be nuts. jailed. I agree. So Karl Marx, should they be jailed? Uh, should they be jailed? Yeah, repeat uh, shoplifters. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Repeat shoplifters? Uh, people who no, shoplift I mean, like You should probably mask, find but... a different solution, right? Okay, Aaron? That's our solution. Uh, the question? The, the shoplifters who are making up like a third of the arrests in New York City, should they be jailed? Or what should be done to them? The no, I, I don't support punitive measures for nonviolent offenses usually, and the majority of shoplifting is not done through violent means. And I'm also not going to conflate like armed robbery with hold shoplifting. On. Armed robbery hold isn't on. shoplifting. So should they be fined? Right, or... I have a, hold on, I have a question. So, Aaron, I want to respond to Loner. Any... I still want to respond to Loner. You will all get a chance. Okay. We'll go in Can order. Loner is asking everyone the question. He's about to ask you next. All you have to do is wait. Loner, continue asking your question. Yeah, so I'm asking then, like, should they be fine then? Or what do you think there should be any deterrence at all? Or is it just no, like fines, we just accept it? Community service. No, no. Fines, yeah, yeah, community service. There's other, there's other mechanisms of deterring crime. But a lot of these are just band aid solutions. In general, I don't support car carceral solutions to like most crime. No. Karl Marx? Uh, oh, what? If people should go to prison? I, I already answered that, right? I mean, no, but like, what else should... in, in place of prison? If you're not. For Oh, prison. what else in place of prison? Yeah. Oh, like rehabilitative measures. I mean, you have like 10% of the American population living in food insecurity. I think these people, uh, given that 70% of shoplifters, according to the data that I've got here, are people who are concerned about money. Um, I, I think if you do actually help them out to get the stuff that they need, they'll probably be better off. But a lot of like the food programs, uh, welfare programs in America are like dysfunctional and thus end up leading to more crime, right? So there, you need to fix these things in order to reduce it. Okay, Sunday. Go ahead. What should be done to people who shoplift? We're not necessarily taking a moral status like from the eye of God when we're saying that something should be done to people who shoplift or something shouldn't be done to people who shoplift. What we are saying is that in a situation in which we as individual subjects with our limited understanding of the individuals involved, their, their perspective and their circumstance, etc., etc., you are risking causing somebody in a vulnerable situation extreme levels of irreparable harm if you turn them in you are not risking that if you don't that's that's the key distinction nobody is saying that therefore nothing should be done to these people the stores have their own self-interest you can't argue that they should act against it obviously from the vantage of their own survival they have to act in a way that stops shoplifting etc etc there's no argument against that like it's just it is what it is but from the vantage of someone who presumably has empathy for the average human being um if you don't know the exact circumstances of the individual who is stealing food or whatever off the shelf because all of these things that's the nature of commodities they can be turned into food down the line or turned into the conditions of working or being a productive or, or, or functional member of society don't there's no purpose to, for two reasons. First of all, the aforementioned, you don't know what damage you're doing to that individual or to other individuals upon whom they depend. Secondly, you're doing so in the defense of organizations whose product and whose place on this earth are not mandated by God. They are the product of either past deprivations or ongoing ones. Case in point, once again, I'm going to refer to this over and over again. Most of our clothing... The reason why it's so cheap and why we can have like 10 different shirts of the same kind for under $100 is because somebody in some in some really hot place in some dingy room was sewing that for pennies on the hour. I respond okay. to that. You may. Please, be my guest. And then can I, I know that... After that? Yep. Then, then. So here's what we're going to do. Loner is going to have some back and forth with Sunday for a little bit. And we're going to Max. And we're going to Lauren. Oh, no, and we're going to Stray Ray. Because straight away, it's a question so, for Loner, too. So we're going to know, like, order we're going to go in. Please don't make me mute you. Please, let's have a, a discussion here. Go ahead. I'll try to be succinct, but I like, yeah, I know that the default progressive response to any kind of crime is just that it has to be because of some kind of like poverty or desperation or something like that. But the fact is, is that one other thing that any criminologist will agree on that causes certain crimes to increase is if they can do it and get away with it, which it seems to be the case with shoplifting. It seems to be the most common complaint you hear from every retailer or other customers or communities is that it's very easy to just go into a shop and just lift like thousands of dollars or pounds worth of stuff and then fuck off. And that is a problem. And the people who suffer for that are not the 
corporations. It, they can just raise their prices. It's that uh, cost gets offset to other customers. It might result in shops closing, which has happened. And that means that people have to go further away to get their food. So it affects the people around them. It affects the people in their community. I agree and with you. Seemed, with, with crime situations like that, um, you can see this with other situations, like the, like the knife right. epidemic in Glasgow, for example, like in the 2000s. Like the way that you can also respond to these crime things is not just assume it's all out of need or uh, de desperation. You can also say that there is a level of deterrence that's not there. And you can use, you can take, for example, the one third of shoplifting arrests that came from just 300 people in New York City and either uh, use some kind of punitive measure to set an example, whether that's like a very hefty fine to let people know you can't just shoplift for a living or to jail them. Like, Sure. Well, fundamentally, what we're dealing with is an interaction between two bodies of people, one of whom has definitely committed uh, theft for the sake of profit alone, one of which that's ambiguous. And so that's the nature of my argumentation. One of the reasons why in my opening statement, I point out that there are types of shoplifting that are frivolous or create the spectacle that is then used propagandistically to increase surveillance upon their communities generally or to deprive their uh, fellow members of product. I don't know if I mentioned that specifically, but like ob obviously, yeah, of course, just like any human action, it, it's going to have to be constrained by certain limits for it to be within the bounds of ethicality, but that's not going to be within the bounds of the law. Case in point, Walmart operates legally, yet once again, it employs slavery. I think you would agree with this. So I don't think we're necessarily in disagreement. I think what we're in disagreement with is that there is a, a commensurateness, if that's a word, um, between uh, people abiding by the law when it comes to the acquisition of products in society and ethicality. I think the one common thread between everybody on this side of the argument is that that is deeply ambiguous. And therefore, if there is a single, uh, if, if there is a single response that uh, follows from reporting people who you observe at only the surface level of having engaged in that acquisition, uh, it would be more responsible to not report them than to do so because while you may in the case of a shoplifter, catch somebody who is engaging in, in some kind of unjust harm against another person. Um, you absolutely are in the case of vying for the, the, the person who, who runs the store. If you see or, something, or say who, something, yeah. uh, seems to counteract that, but Max, you're up. If Go you see ahead. something, say something, seems to counteract that. What? I wanted to make a, well, hang on, Wick, about... Wick, but no, no, you responded okay. to that. Max, you're not a moderator anymore. I'm, you're a participant. I'm, what did I'm you say? I'm around with you. Max, I want to hear But what you. did you mean? But what did you mean, Wick? Making a quip so people give me money. Back. <laughs> okay. I wanted to make note, because uh, you said that um, baby formula is often stolen for drugs. I want to make note that uh, single mothers are the highest proportion of people uh, living in food insecurity. One in four households of a single mother with a child is food insecure. And they're double that when you like compare it to black and Hispanic households. So to act like there isn't any way that this baby formula is actually be stol being stolen for babies or whatever Today is very silly. And I assume the majority of it probably Today is. Uh, do you have any data that shows that the people that you're referring to, the single mothers in those situations, are the ones shoplifting the baby formula? Yeah, I've got data proving that people who are uh, uh, conscious about money, people who are hungry, are more likely to end up stealing. And thus, single mothers who are experiencing food insecurity would be a pretty prime demographic for mm. that. Uh, when you did that, that's They're not the ones who are stealing trolleys full of baby formula, are they? I don't really That's see probably the people who are doing it to sell drugs, right? <laughs> or to, or to uh, yeah. sell on the black I don't market. Think well, well, these people are stealing I mean, yeah, trolleys of, of baby formula. Like the way that a lot of shoplifting <laughs> stats are that's even compiled that's what is people looking are, at like organized retail theft. Like, yeah. You're not going to be able people, to get... Wait, you're telling me people are talking news? about a sensationalistic thing and they're like talking about how crazy it is? I mean, obviously, if there's like a video of someone stealing a whole trolley of meat, it's going to go like popular on the internet. That's not what happens on a like day-to-day -day basis, though, most of the, the time. The complaint this that is most of these retailers and staff members time. and uh, people in communities are making is that people shop are able to shoplift right now with impunity because there aren't enough measures to stop them from doing it or to prosecute them afterwards. That seems yeah, to be the complaint that people if are making. That's why these like, rates not are on the customer the stores, or the shoplifter. That's on were... the responsibility of the store or the security or the government that you that you're under. So if like the shoplifters in New York were caught over six thousand times, if they weren't jailed, I'm like, oh, why would they stop shoplifting? That's not their problem, not their fault. Do you agree? That's there. kind of what I'm should saying. Loner. Yeah, we're I do agree that you that should, but I also agree. I hope, I hope I agree that you should, but I also don't think it's on the responsibility of a customer to say anything about it. So if you see something, oh fucking well but then also i don't agree with the whole stealing out of necessity thing i don't think that's why people steal. i think, I think people steal because they want to sometimes i think that's a big part of it too i like once again yeah. i still don't think that it matters 
Whose right? side so are I you think, on? I think in okay. Right, so as long as we agree, let Ali finish. Let Ali finish, and then you can respond. Finish, Lauren, Lauren, can respond. Lauren, Ali finish, then Lauren can respond. That's what we're going. I'll speak on an anecdote that might apply to everyone. It not uh, the the cost of things don't always go up due to theft. I live in an I live in a neighborhood. We have we have convenience stores. I go to the convenience store. No, I had two dollars cash one day. Normally that would buy you two little bags of chips and two little Debbie's cakes, right? I went, I bought my little four items. The the clerk told me I can only get one of the little Debbie's cakes because they are a dollar now. The price went up so for no reason. Steal? Right? No, People, it, inflation. No reason. it went up due to inflation. Okay, so it didn't go up due to theft, right? Now the, 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 the price went up due to There's inflation, so no one's hold up wait. Price, Chill. Right? Okay, understood. Understood. Now, people's wages didn't go up due to inflation, right? People don't make more money now, right? So the, what I'm saying, it's not that people see out of necessity, but the, the, the theft isn't what's making the prices go up. So people feel justified when they go in and they take something that's overpriced. It's an very simple. I don't, and, and I don't think, and, and I think that responsibility of catching the thief is up to the store, not up to the customers. Wait, hey, Lauren, go ahead. In a, in a moment, I'm going to let Lauren, then, then straight away, you're next, I promise. Okay. Sunday, I'm looking at you. We're going to let the woman I... speak, okay? Don't overtalk the woman. Lauren, go ahead, then straight away. First of all, by responsibility, it's the responsibility, like, it's not your responsibility Madam. as a witness. Sorry, continue. If you witness a murder, <laughs> it's not your responsibility to call it in but it would make yeah. you a morally better person same right. as the, the customers in this store so it's not their responsibility but once only again because there's someone good, directly being, being affected people. only because anyway, there's someone being directly saying, affected there's I'm no effect talking. happening okay. so now my other issue at least ali and i can agree that these people should be locked up especially if they're continuously doing yeah. locked up uh, what is this cook they get execute caught. them stop it stop it please i okay fine fuck i'm gonna mute everyone except for the person I'm talking, talking. Lauren, go ahead better than at least straight away who says that no one should be in jail as long as it's a non-violent crime which i guess means she is pro everyone for j6 who was non-violent and who just trespassed right so i guess all of them should be free from jail according to straight aid thank you for the conservative support the idiots who walked with your gawking because they were surprised to be in the building yeah i agree the people who broke in and like defecate on the desk maybe not what were the people well, chanting outside violent. of Gen 6? That's not violent! That is they were invading a building. That is the definition of violence. It's legally non-violent to trespass. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wait, so it's you don't see a direct threat to people? I want to hear Max's statement. Uh, that Straight Raid's next. Several Max, people. Do the back and forth. Can I? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, yeah, several here. people, like, uh, there were large crowds outside at January 6th chanting that they want to, like, kill people. I don't understand how you're going to compare, like, January 6th and then somebody stealing to feed their baby. If you're a mother and you have a child and that child has to skip a meal every couple days because you can't afford to get more, see, according to you, this would be enough to not want to steal. Would you then put your child in the position where they're going to end up developing worse, experiencing a worse <laughs> life, would. be more unhappy, be more depressed, be more likely to kill themselves, uh, as a consequence of you being poor and then inflicting that on your child because you're too scared to steal yes. and take matters into your own hands. I, I think, uh, I think not to, what not you're to saying pretend, but wait, 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 wait. Wait. No, no, let her answer. Like, I want to hear Lauren would sooner let her child die before she steals. Let me respond. Fine. So, what you're saying doesn't make any sense because if it's a starving mother who really just cares about feeding their kids, we have this wonderful system called food stamps, right, in America. And if she... Let's, and you can let's get into it. Food, food stamps Actually, catching yeah. straight. Let's talk about food stamps. We talk about the cost of the food stamps. Okay, what's happening is you got like four people yelling at her every time she speaks. And so no one can Not understand really. what she's saying. Can I respond to the food stamps point really quickly? Well, once she's done with her point, you may. Lauren, are you done? Are you done, okay. Lauren? So, well, okay. you wanted to say that I was comparing starving mothers just feeding their babies who are skipping every other meal because blah, blah, blah. Okay, yes. I am comparing the ravage shoplifting epidemic in which there are about a third of these shoplifting are from the same repetitive shoplifters over and over and over again. And these people have made it their jobs to do it. They are not starving. They are not needy and then you want to walk away the january 6th so grandma walking around uh, okay not even i'm not gonna that it was... uh -huh. uh, Do you... okay go 
So, no, go on. And I, okay, I was. Those repeat Canada, offenders are only in New York City, as far as I know. But continue. Not true. No, Not it's, true. It's, I was but, in San Francisco wait. last night. Watch my story on Instagram. No one cares watched... what you personally saw or didn't see, Lauren. It's an anecdote. That's reliable. No, wait, the stat isn't. The stat's not. Money. That's just the stat from New York. It doesn't mean that's probably the only place that's happening. No, and actually, coming oh, back to the baby them. formula. Coming back to the baby formula, you can look on Google. Like there, there are stories from this going back to 2005. Like yeah, baby formula has been a staple for like uh, gangs for there a really long time. When it comes about, to drugs. Uh, okay. So there were stories. I, I'm just saying. I think it's probably reasonable that the average civilian and the average human being can notice the difference between a mother stealing a ball of baby formula for a baby who's malnourished versus a fucking gang going in and lifting the entire story. I mean, Lauren was, already said that she right? would turn in that mother. Unless, when. unless the mother, unless the mother is uh, actually just running a Lauren drug has industry, already said that she would, okay. Lauren has already said that she would turn that mother in, which leads me to believe that if Lauren's own child was starving, she would sooner let her child die than okay, just steal from Walmart. Yeah, but but let, me, let me talk about that one. Hang on, straight away, hang on. May I? Okay, may I? Quick, 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 quick. You may not. No, you may not. Please, no, none of you may not. Pretty Max, and then straight away because your beard looks lovely today. If she doesn't get to okay, Lona Box briefly, you said that there were and then straight away is a question. Okay, uh, Lona Box, you said that there are a ton of people. Um, uh, you, there are a ton of stories about how um, how baby formula was sold to make drugs. Like there haven't ever been sensationalistic drug stories in the media. Like, do you know about Jenkum? That the thing that there was like tons of stories about where people were like huffing shit to get high, uh, and it happened in like poor countries. Not actually a thing. Not actually a widespread thing. Totally overblown. Totally like blown out of proportion by the media. You cannot be like citing news articles existing as a trustworthy source. Secondly, I want to know what, about what should food I trust stamps. then? If, if a news article says that this is a problem, data, that brought up in actual Congress data, and like actual information that's like actually fucking like statistical. Yeah, it isn't just. But like basically anecdotes, which is like didn't, story. Uh, what, what news didn't, stories? Didn't are. Wick, wait, didn't Wick's story say? Didn't Wick's uh, point say that most of the baby formula stolen is by gangs? Most of the actual yeah, quantity. I, think I, Wick is wrong. Wrong. He I said why Wick is wrong as well. No, because you mothers said, you are like say, the highest proportion actually, of people who have food insecurity. That you realize that doesn't actually refute what Wick says. If more mothers are stealing uh, less quantities of baby formula and the I gangs do. are stealing higher quantities, that means most of the formula is stolen by gangs or by mothers. I do. Okay, okay, okay. I got. I got. I got. Hang on. Wait, wait, please, please, Max. Someone, that's anyone. I don't know. I've got a question that's, that's pertinent to this. And you didn't refute it. I have a question that's pertinent to this, and I'm curious. Wick, by what methodology would you determine the exact usage of this baby formula? How on earth have you determined the percentage of it Did that is ask? used to We can make drugs? some inferences. The... If you have 20 different people all dressed mm. in ski masks coming in and stealing this baby formula, it's possible but, but hang on. that they are being that's an altruistic not That's not petty that theft. That's not what we're talking about. Like that are, that's that not, we're, we're, we're talking about that's shoplifting. Talking about about Wick, Wick, that's we're not possible. talking about a baby that's formula right. heist. No, we're talking about shoplifting. We're talking about shoplifting, not an organized heist. We're not talking about Daniel I'm Ocean coming in for the baby formula trove. Okay. Wick, I wanted to ask Lonerbox a question. Please, go ahead. Hmm? Okay, so we're already presupposing that shoplifting only occurs at the hands of, like, customers, but it can also occur at the hands of, like, employers or employees of the businesses themselves. So I ask you, if you were at, like, a CVS or a Walmart and you saw an employee shoplift something, you saw them conceal an item, put something in their like pants, shorts or whatever, try to try to try to steal it. Would you report that employee to their manager knowing that it was probably going to lead to their termination? And probably if they were convicted or whatever, like in Texas, it's a crime of moral turpitude. And if you're tried and convicted for something like that or convicted of a crime like that, you can no longer work for retail ever again. So uh, would my... you would you report that like stealing employee? My position is generally like the way that they deal with gen like other kind of like gang crime epidemics is that they go for the big offenders. Like I think the FBI defines it as uh, organized retail theft is if you steal like five thousand dollars or more worth of things, and yeah, that's like that's what I would go for. Yeah, so, I don't really you... care that much personally about a shoplifter lifting like a bottle of juice. Like you know. okay, but like I mean, an employee for sure. If you saw an employee doing it, you wouldn't say anything. No, I wouldn't say anything. No. If you saw like a regular patron or whatever you would know and i can i can just shorten it really quickly by saying that like most of the people who complain about this aren't really kicking up that much of a fuss about crimes like that they're more bothered about the fact that people go in there and lift trolleys worth of stuff to sell like either on the black market the or to scalp people yeah. and shit yeah yeah that because that seems to be the thing that retailers are complaining about as well about how easy it is to just walk in and lift like want, thousands of dollars worth of stuff and then fuck off the right. that's their fault panel, isn't the it the reason that this panel came across in the yeah. first place <laughs> yeah, is, is due to fault, discourse yeah. over someone lifting yes. thousands I, of dollars and if i can if i can yes okay if, the, if the i can if i can hang on hang on if i can like build a little bit of a bridge here potentially 
One of my objections is some, I still don't know what side I am on in this, but I think I'm more on straighter rate and this one side. Um, I, I, one of the issues with the meat lady is not just that she was shoplifting. It's that she was shoplifting in a manner that created a spectacle that generated contempt from within the working class. And so one of the issues that I have with it is that it created a situation where you had people who were obviously underpaid working for, was it Walgreens or what was this organization that she was stealing from? Um, they were the ones who were videotaping or recording her and trying to prevent her from loading her car with the meat. Moreover, she also prevented other people, shoplifters included, from accessing that meat themselves. And so there is, nonetheless, regardless of our, 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 the ethicality of shoplifting generally, there are more and less ethical ways to engage in it and more and less ethical ends for it. I think we all more or less agree on that. Am I correct? Yep. I do. Yeah. Lauren doesn't. Can you explain why not, Lauren? We're the odd one out here. Go ahead, Lauren. Hey, Give Lauren. her some space. Oh, I swear to God, Sunday, if you talk in the next five seconds, I'm going to meet you. Go ahead, Lauren. Oh, I'm blah, 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 blah. Can you do it, coward? Repeat exactly, repeat exactly what you said, Sunday, just so that I can. I <laughs> I am flattered. I am flattered by your confidence in my powers of recollection, but unfortunately, I cannot. Um, yeah, sorry. You're, you're, you're up a creek. Alas. Well, I can. I can paraphrase if you don't mind, right? Yeah, I guess. Um, so, what you were, I saw you shaking your head at was the fact that um, Sunday said that there are more ethical ways to steal than there are less ethical, and that we aren't. Um, is everyone in agreement that someone stealing just ball my? Well, I, I, if I may, if I may, very quickly, I think it's a bit unfair for Loner Box over here to be lumped in with this one because I don't think Loner Box is. As anti, I don't care if it's unfair. Is. I'm doing the panel, but I don't care. No, but about I'm saying your... this for a reason. But I'm saying this for a reason. I'm saying this. I wasn't quite. Well, I want to hear what Lauren has to say. But okay, I do Lauren, think Lauren I do Fox think amongst the totally sane angry. members of the panel. Okay, um, Lauren, go ahead. Okay, yeah, we get it. Loner box doesn't fully agree with me, President Sunday. Also, you're muted. Um, <laughs> When it, it, yeah, I, I kind of come from the Kantian ethics standpoint where if Hold something on. is immoral, it, it is, it is immoral. And so if stealing is immoral, it's immoral at any level, whether it's small or large. Um, I heard, who did I hear bring up something along those lines? I think it was. Yes, who brought uh, up the categorical imperative? Anyone? It was I actually Loner, opened Loner with real consequentialism, up, so yeah, similar. Yeah, Loner Box brought that up content. earlier. Repeat what you said, Straighter Aid. I, you said somebody brought this up earlier, and I said, ah, yes, who brought up the Kantian categorical imperative? And Loner Box, I, don't, I think what you're the framework you're talking about isn't Kantian at all. No, it what? is. No, I think, I think, I think, okay, yeah. okay, hang on. Oh hang on, my Loner god, Box. I just unmuted yeah. you for two please, seconds. Please, please, just like fucking. Sunday, okay. I think, hey, actually knows about this. Around. Go ahead. Lauren, yeah, I want to hear what Lauren thinks, right? And then once she gets it out, we can have these things. And I see your Discord message, Doobie. Don't worry, we'll get to it. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, yeah, I agree with Kant for, for the most part, and essentially you, Loner Box, for the most part. If something is unethical at most levels, and you just shouldn't do it at any level, because if it's generally accepted by society, then it would be a negative impact on society. So, for instance, if everybody took the idea that it is not morally corrupt to shoplift and that it was okay to shoplift then everybody would shoplift and there would not be like a functioning retail society i just want to nobody nobody, well, nobody is arguing nobody is arguing that shoplifting as a prescription is a moral maxim we should adhere to what people are arguing is that increasing harm and poverty and misery in the world is a like avoiding that that is a moral maxim that we should subscribe to and so given the circumstance that we do not know the circumstances under which people are shoplifting it would behoove us to be cautious when we when we start uh, appealing to the state to start putting its boot down on people who are engaging in that that's the argument can i ask Loner... no. can i could i extend that point oh, oh go ahead I... thank you um, I want to ask something uh, after, though. 
I mean, the reason that things like shoplifting are viewed as unethical is because you shouldn't take what you don't need, right? If we're like applying that to, to, to a lot of people, there are plenty of people who shoplift who don't need to be doing so. And I do agree that we should probably try and stop those people. Um, but still, there are plenty of people who that doesn't apply to and who do need to have the stuff. And also, if there are companies uh, like supermarkets keeping a bunch of shit that they don't necessarily need and they're going to end up throwing it out, how is that ultimately more ethical than somebody else taking that and then feeding it to their child, right? I mean, um, Lauren I would rather wanna... have a society where people panhandle before they steal stuff that gets thrown out. go ahead. So. I just wanted to <laughs> throw in yeah, a smile. I'd rather yeah, have a worry. society where people ask their neighbors for help before they steal from their neighbors, Aaron. What a yeah, wild Yeah, ho homeless concept. people panhandling on the streets en masse. I'm not talking about that. Oh, loner, please. I just wanted to That's throw in a stat bad. because it was challenged earlier that like, yeah, um, within about a year, like it's anything between 15 billion and $30 billion um, worth of goods are lost just from organized retail theft. So, and one of the top items is formula. So it's not like a sensationalist, like, yeah, it's one of the problems. I don't know why you would assume it was just immediately a sensationalist because I mentioned I saw lots of... Well, maybe because the price it. went up and they can sell it on the black market. I mean, I don't think that like to act like that's the only... This is from 2011. Be used for drugs. This is from 2011. That's why I said the stories from like this go back to 2005. Yeah, it's, like, it's, a, okay. it's a thing that gangs like to do, yeah. Um, but it doesn't matter. And... The, the, the question the question is really simple. Obviously, people steal. People shouldn't steal. I don't think anyone is saying that people should steal. Right? We're saying, where does the responsibility lie? Does it lie with the customer to do anything? Does it lie with the workers to do anything? Does it lie with the business owner to do anything? I'm saying some people should steal. If you, if you need to steal. I mean, yeah, because if you need to steal to provide for your family, you should steal. Hmm? If you need to steal to provide for your family or to have a basic standard of living, you should steal. I don't think anybody's yeah. saying you shouldn't steal under any I'm circumstances. I'm sure. Even loader box isn't saying you shouldn't steal under any circumstances. This whole thing came up. This whole thing came up due to the fact that people were mad at the person sharing the Twitter post saying, if you see someone stealing food, no, you shouldn't. Then everyone called that virtue signaling. I'm calling the virtue signal called the virtue signal call. You don't like it does not matter when someone's stealing from a company. It's not affecting the person. The only reason that we would do anything. But it is. How is it affecting it? I'm, so, I'm sorry, which person are we talking? Are we it talking the, the company it owner? Increase or? prices. The, yeah, price, the increase in prices is not due to theft. There is not enough theft happening to these it's companies. Not, it's not. Well, it, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. Loss, loss, hang on. At whatever negligible amount, this is indisputable, any kind of loss will contribute to increased prices. The question is whether it's, mm -hmm. it's determinative. That's ambiguous, but th that's 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 not really up for debate. Like obviously, if also, you lose product without getting Carl Max, profit I've from it, paid, that'll affect profit. I've been that'll paid prices. to call you stupid and to personally nice. insult you. From Who Doobie. I would have done it for free. I wouldn't have meant it because they're brilliant. But um, Doobie also Doobie? sent me a Doobie. Uh, yes, Doobie. Doobie's also Why? sent me a. Uh, Wait, how much do I have to pay you to steal something from uh, Walmart? More is than this the Doobie I would no. know? I know I there's know a Doobie you know, on a big, a big no. Discord debate care. server. They paid me to do it. I did it. And also, he wants me to ask you whether or not um why you trust data and not journalists when it has been shown and he linked me a, a source i trust journalists people, that report on data people will, uh, falsify data all the time or not all the time but at least but journalists time. don't <laughs> what Wait, yeah you're saying journalists are like more <laughs> I'm not saying Look, anything. this is I was like paid money to tell you this i did my job is done that's i i respect you i respect that deeply um uh uh um, I don't really see the point in believing in journalists over empirical data. I believe journalists when they provide empirical data. You need to combine the two. You can't just be saying journalists are correct or data is wrong because it can be falsified sometimes. Dude, but uh, you like recommended Mistborn retarded. to me. You recommended Whoa. Mistborn to me. How could you? How could you take this the stance? Unbelievable. Book. Anyway, regardless, I think it's more just book. because I mentioned like talking points that I heard from like journalists who were talking about an epidemic, and you just immediately dismiss it as sensationalist. That might be why he's upset. I don't know. Just guessing. Well, because might journalists be. aren't necessarily okay. reliable. Yeah, yeah, because journalists are about sensationalism. I want to direct this conversation a little bit. Um, for those of you on the more, um, not to say pro stealing side, but permissive. the more permissive side of these. Uh. Would it be morally permissible to steal directly from uh, Walmart, the owners of Walmart's house? Like if no. you uh, <laughs> no. were I mean... able to go into the owner specifically's house and no. steal from them, no. would it be morally no. permissible? No. Why not? No. Is I mean, it not to the person? Do they notice? 
If they don't notice, I think it'll be fine because it would affect like. I don't, I don't think. I don't think the, the issue is noticing. Though. I don't think. I don't think ownership is limited at the point of noticing that your possessions have been stolen. I think. I think the reason though would be because it's not hitting them at the point where um, there is there is some intrinsic connection between the thing that you were stealing and mm -hmm. the fact of it uh, being a a functional part of the extortion of the community. Um, the, 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 the influence of places like Walmart, for example, on local communities and local retail is, is known, um, or on the exploitation that gives them their product. At that point, you are literally just violating a general norm against breaking and entering into people's personal abodes. And I think that's a dangerous precedent to set. <laughs> it's also the fact that's that for breaking, into, for breaking into someone's house, as, as well as for shoplifting, both of these crimes uh, correlate with an increase in physical attacks as well. So as crime uh, shoplifting went up in the UK, uh, so too did physical assaults and antisocial behavior and verbal abuse. Now, would so. they deserve it is a different question. Yes, they would, absolutely. What the, but that's what I'm asking is like with because it seems to be when I was hearing the if you see a shoplifter you didn't and that kind of Twitter response was uh, some people saying that well we have to probably just assume that they're doing it out of necessity and if they're not it's okay anyway because fuck corporations well because and it's the, well, that's the, the, why the I principle ask, like, yeah. even um, am, with what you like with what you've been saying like Karl Max like if you're saying like a, even like a gang stealing baby formula to make drugs like well. If we hate Walmart, like, is it better that Walmart just keeps that Walmart loses it anyway, or what? Like, what would you say to that? I mean, I think people should have the things they need to have. If Walmart is keeping that, uh, is 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 preventing that from being able to get to people by way of permitting people to steal a shit ton of it, or by way of making it unaffordable uh, uh, to people. Uh, then I, I think it's 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 fine for people to take it. So that's right? why I asked you about gangs who are doing it to make drugs or to just sell on the black market. Uh, well, if gangs are doing it to sell it on the black market and they're getting it to mothers for a more affordable price, uh, then that's fine. I don't really know how much these are actually being used to make drugs, though, because what I've looked at uh, about it, uh, it uh, you can cut drugs with a lot of things, and baby formula is one of the more expensive ones, and you probably it's wouldn't necessarily they're stealing it. It costs can, I, can I, can I, okay, yeah, wait, wait, can, I, can I respond, can I respond very quickly? Can I respond very quickly? In the event that you have people in masks coming in and you, you see them in an organized fashion acquiring these things, as far as I'm concerned, it's ethically neutral whether or not you report them because you're dealing with people who are essentially engaging in precisely the same kind of activity as Walmart is, albeit against Walmart. I have more condemnation for Walmart on that front, but you're not dealing with people who are, are definable by individual need. If you're talking about like a mother, for example, who slips a piece of uh, a package of formula into her purse or something like that, I would say in that case you look away, like that. That's that seems like pretty clear cut to me. Um, I I I don't know. I I don't I don't I don't think like one well, of the, the things under, that I well, really quick. Sunday to interrupt you. I think the underlying assumption here is that does everybody think that Walmart has the monopoly on these goods by force or through legitimate means? Well, everything is a monopoly on anything by force. But I, I think the point that I'm getting to, and one of the, I think one of the real sticking points here that's not really being stated explicitly, is that, and this is the reason why Lonerbox had the pseudo Kantian point earlier, is that if you allow something indefinitely, um, you end up in a situation where even if global communism is achieved, da, 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 you still have a situation where people are judging whether or not they respect the right to a, of a person to their personal belongings based upon whether or not they can draw a line between their owning that thing now and some active exploitation in the past. Okay. I think that's It is the mistake. top of the hour, and I want to get through these super chats, if I may. So just give me one moment. $5 from Draven1895 to say, what if the purse the shoplifting mom has is Gucci? $5 from Mirutsi to say, why is Lauren pretending to play on her phone? Cringe and transparent. $5 from Running Joke to say, is it okay to shoplift medicine if someone really needs it to survive. $5 from Portland is burning. If shoplifting is morally permissible, can you burglarize wealthy homes if you know they're unoccupied at the time? Why or why not? $5 from Draven1995. I doubt the people stealing snacks, Pokemon cards, and headphones from my job are doing it out of necessity. $5 from the per In Pursuit of Knowledge. Max, can you give us your address? I am poor and I need to steal from you. I promise you won't notice. $5 I'm for fondue. Too. If you I'm can. a member of a community, is it not moral to look out for people providing services for it? In other words, are we not our brother's keeper? 
And finally, $5 from iPratBrat to say, I'm all for shoplifting from big corporations. They already commit wage theft and are never held responsible. Plus, they have loss insurance. Okay, thank you uh, for indulging me in that. And if you got super chats, throw them in. And at the top of the hour, I'll read them out. So thank you again. Um, but yeah, that's a good question from Fondue. And I want to kind of focus in on that. Is it not looking out for your community to report people who are stealing from stores and knowing that that theft at least has a possibility of leading to those stores and those services no longer being provided in your community. Lauren, I want you to go first and I will we'll go around. Lauren, what do you think? Yeah, you absolutely have a, like if you want the best for your community and for the store owners in your community, then you should report people who you see committing any crimes, including theft. Um, or murder, for that matter. Hey, Allie. Whatever. Oh, Ali. What do you think? Yeah, I, I don't. I just don't think the responsibility is with the customers. If there's enough theft happening in your community, there's a problem. The responsibility is up to the store. Store can hire security. Is this only for security? Theft? Should if be able to handle. If you see someone that. getting insulted, oh, you're making hmm? offense. If you see someone getting assaulted, do you think that there's no responsibility to report that? There's a direct effect on that individual, so no, I think you should report that. So it's that. the directness of the fact. So indirect. Yeah, it, it, there, there's an actual direct victim right in Max. front of you. There's an actual thing. Yeah, got you, Max. Sorry, could you repeat the question? Sure. Um, is it not behoove? Does it not behoove you, as a member of community, mm -hmm. to report theft against people who are providing or companies who are providing services to your community? Why or why not? Uh, well, it depends on how those services are provided, right? If those services, as we're under capitalism, most services are going to be behind a paywall, right? So if you if they're providing stuff, but only to like a certain group of people who are making a certain amount of money who can afford it, then I think it's okay to steal from them, especially if you're a member of the group who they're not like, you know, helping out. Sure, if they're um, selling if they it, are... then it's okay. Uh, if they're if they're selling it, I mean, it it, it really it really depends, especially because um a lot of my gripes with um with uh, the way that things have gone with grocery stores is how they've like hyped up the prices and allowed that to happen. So I think if they if they do just uh, continue to keep a high prices despite inflation going down and all that kind of thing, uh, then I think you're okay to steal it. Um, but um you know generally you should only do it when it's uh, necessary. And you should try and do it to shops that can both afford it and also kind of deserve it. Bonner, what do you think? I don't know why you should only have to do it if it's necessary, if you think it's like, if it's all being held by capital or private property, which is inherently theft anyway. I feel like that would just mean everything is fair game if it's, if it's being well, no, sold by no, because that would be... I mean, that wouldn't work, obviously, right? If everyone stole, that wouldn't work. You said this yourself. Well, that's, that's the why point, I'm yeah, that. because... There needs to be conditions for it. <laughs> Well, that's but you exactly. said one of those conditions is if they're, that they're putting the prices up. But one of the reasons they keep putting prices up, even if inflation is dropping, is because somebody... retailers, grocery retailers, mm. only make a profit average of one percent. Maybe Walmart makes two percent profit. So if they lose more than they expect to leak through shoplifting, they're going to put up prices to make up that loss, or they're going to get security. And at the cost of security, they make up that up as well by raising prices. Well, that's the so same thing. that's the problem. It's like even if you assume that this is like, or with the baby formula, if even if you assume that this is like a good, honest gang just trying trying to get the goods to the mothers for a lower cost, then someone else is paying for that. Some other customers are paying I'm for that. And generally, they're also seeing goods chained up and extra security or shops closing or so, yeah. I want to note that I don't just support gangs going into a place. I think keeping, uh, I, 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 I know I slipped up there before, uh, but keeping the community feeling safe and, and happy is a, is a primary concern. Do you think so I wouldn't that knowing that there's that. a high amount of stealing the or difference, shoplifting makes the, the people difference the between... feel safe and happy? The difference between a gang stealing product from a Walmart, I and think it, uh, Walmart and Walmart yeah, ex and, and Walmart. Ex Sunday likes to interrupt when I'm having questions. I do. I, I know. I, I know, know, right? And Walmart, so, yeah. Walmart. Well, I am. I am. He's yeah, stealing America, time so from I all do. of us. I'm, we can I am. Him, actually, my security has stopped him. Carl Max. Go on. I want okay. you to answer. What was your question again? I'm so sorry. It's, it's late here. Does shoplifting in a community or an area? Does that not make the community feel less safe, right? It feels... I mean, it depends on who you are. If you're a privileged member of the community who feels like they're, um, you know, they're entitled to, to having all the products that they can, you know, buy or whatever, 
uh, then obviously you're going to see shoplifting and be like, oh, those people didn't do what I did. They don't deserve that, right? I mean, that's usually like the, the you know, the mindset of people protecting capital. Um, okay, so if you're scared by people shoplifting, by people committing acts of burglary, then you're privileged and you're spoiled? Do you think you're privileged? Do you think I don't think most people I... care or notice when things are being stolen or shoplifted. Let's let Lauren know. answer since the question. Was asked the question. Go ahead, Lauren. Well, I was asking you a question, but whether or not I'm privileged has very little to do with this. And I'm privileged not It has everything to do I... with it. Because, Lauren, I know that you are somebody who's incredibly privileged. Because the way that you talk about shoplifting, yeah. the way you talk about not ever doing any crime to help out your loved ones, it shows to me that you've always had everything available to you within the system, right? It shows to me that you, you've never had to go like for an, for an uh, extra systemic solution. Like you've never had to go out of that in order to survive. So you're, you're very clearly a very privileged person and a lot of people aren't. Yeah, I you, mean, don't, you know my life so well, apparently. So you don't I mean, think you're privileged you. one? To you. It's very Lauren, clear, but you don't think you're I mean, if you if you weren't privileged, then That's tell me. The Lauren, you're saying you're not no. privileged? It's not what I'm saying. I am privileged, but <laughs> right. I have never in my life experienced Okay, that's what that's what Carl was saying. He was saying you're privileged. That's not what I'm saying. I'm, yeah, I'm saying that you haven't experienced like the, the hardships of being uh, systemically oppressed in a way that you can't easily escape. Like it, 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 by, sure especially by financial capitalistic oppression. means. I will say uh, as, as for being financial, I have experienced being like poor myself, not to the point where I was worried about starvation. I'll be honest with that. Um, okay. But but how, that's how poor are we talk? I mean, I, I don't want to be too rude. I've had like I've saying. had zero and I've had like negative bank account. If that's what you're asking, like I've been down zero, but like I've had to go ask fa family for help before. If that's what you're asking. Okay. You were in high and can you understand yeah, why somebody who doesn't necessarily have family and things that they family can like, reach back on? My, yeah, yeah, if somebody didn't have that, can you understand why they might then feel it's okay to take money from, like, a company that gets, no. like, hundreds of billions of dollars a year? No, you don't, because... You wouldn't understand not, that. No. You said no, that, okay, so there's... You, you say, you, say you, you have a lot of moral absolutes. You also say that, like, killing somebody is already always bad. What if somebody's, like, got your whole family defense, at gunpoint? They're, they're holding a... They've got a... Self-defense? Yeah, sure. So you're acting in self-defense? That's yeah, yeah, yeah. fine. Self-defense yeah. is fine. Okay. So how are people who are shoplifting not defending themselves from the system, which is telling them they, they can't have, uh, you know, That's enough food? Defending themselves from the system. That's such a warped way of looking at it. Well, 10% um, of Americans system. are people who are food insecure. It's the, They are defending themselves not, from a system. Not, which wait, you keep on going to, to food. It's, food insecurity doesn't mean you need to shoplift, though. Food insecurity is just it's more to do with nutrition. Yeah, right? but I think if you're your... food insecure, you have a lot more justification in shoplifting than someone who isn't. I think you can agree with that, right? If somebody oh, can't, no. if somebody I mean, has that's to like, get meals, that's the, that's the biggest mod I've ever heard in my fucking life. But yeah, of course, yeah. What? It's a pretty fucking straight to the point. If we're point, talking, if we're talking about privilege again, like um, poor communities are generally where most of the people have to deal with shops being uh, everything being behind glass and padlocks and everything because of the yeah. amount of shoplifting that happens in their communities. Again often quite often by gangs and that's like the big reason that like the bulk of these measures are taken so like mm -hmm. i don't know why it's why you call it the, the privileged position because i mean maybe i'm being anecdotal right because i came from a very poor community as well poor people fucking hate crime generally speaking the most fucking fascistic tough on crime opinions you'll ever get in society are from mm -hmm. poor people because they really, live in yeah, because they're people who have, like yeah. they've put True. in the effort they've struggled more than anybody else has to get out of that position and then they look down upon the other people who can't poor, like poor who not like, exactly like, not yeah, exactly and they suffer the consequences exactly. from shoplifting no, no, no hang, hang on wait 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 that is not true once again, when we are talking about people who are following shoplifters out of the store, we are talking about retail workers. These are not people who have escaped poverty. Are retail poverty. workers loaner, privileged? Well, Loner Box has, no, wait, loaner Sunday, box has are said... Wait, retail workers privileged? I don't know what you No, what Le Loner okay, Box has said uh, is... Today, perhaps, uh, hang on, wait, wait, can I finish my sentence, please? please? What Loner Box has said is actually correct. It, it is the case that poor people hate shoplifters they really do this is why for example even an underpaid uh, retail worker will follow around a shoplifter in the store and will bother to report them because they despise it but it is not because they have managed to escape poverty that is crucial they're they're retail workers they're in poverty they're paid probably the minimum possible not... wage legally yeah 
Um, I mean, no, what I meant was that it's not people no, who have escaped oh, poverty, end, it's people who are yeah, in poverty, but they're working really hard to try and try and get through it still. And they're angry because the other yeah, people but, aren't working. No, 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 no but, but, but personally, the yeah, the we the they don't want to be scrutinized please. further by the company Aaron. being surveyed more. Aaron. No, no, but crush no no that's not true that's not true they enthusiastically i know because i used to do this they enthusiastically pursue shoplifters yeah the workers. yeah they, no 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 but not because they're worried about moving up in the company they they view mm -hmm. shoplifters with contempt unjustly by the way but that's beside the oh, point i mean i've just heard of people getting like over like okay i want to hear from aaron aaron go ahead Retail workers do not have limitless upward mobility. Sorry, Look, this is your friend. friend. Aaron, you know, you're friends with Sunday, so talk to him. Aaron, oh, go ahead. Lady, I'm not the president, okay? Yeah, One. yeah. And two, the other thing <laughs> is that, like, when we're talking about, like, consequences and fallout of retail theft and shoplifting, and we're talking about those security things that they have to put with, like, razors and deodorant where you have to ding somebody and call an attendant or whatever it's like that's a consequence in the most neutral sense of the word meaning that that's like cause and effect that's what happens after there's a lot of retail theft related to certain items in a store but i do think it's like preferable to the alternative which is that the store shuts down or and it, i feel like it's how is this not a win-win for everybody it's an automated security measure that most stores can implement fairly easily customers can reliably get the products that they need simply by yes an inconvenience that makes me want to fucking kill myself which is having, having to talk to one of these fucking you know wage cucks and get my deodorant okay but it yes. deters crime you don't actually have to hire, like to me that is always annoyance but it's a win-win because then we don't have to actually send more people to jail because of a petty crime like that it I, th becomes too I difficult. think I think the underlying problem that is across the board is that people are forced into a situation of poverty and, and scarcity generally, artificially, by a level of theft and a level of enslavement and, and exploitation that we are seemingly universally fine with. For whatever reason, the debate is at the level of shoplifting, even though people are only shoplifting outside of, for example, people who are doing so as an organized method to profit, which I agree is like at the, at the bare minimum morally neutral. Um, we are only at this level of resolution because we are concerned at a level of law and order when the things that they are stealing from, and we're talking about big supermarkets, Walmart, etc. we are talking about organizations that rely on expropriation abroad and, uh, and, and functionally acting as a cartel with other businesses locally. There's, there's a reason why companies are able to pay the minimum wage, and that's because there's no competition because they all more or less will pay the same amount for the same job. That that's what creates that poverty in the first place, because people don't have a choice. I just want to say that, given that the fact that again, there should be no um, minimum wage. That what correlates with shoplifting is also violence against retail staff, and retail staff are usually quite poor and working class. Like that's why I feel True. like. But whenever I hear this um, reasoning, which is that well, um, in the case of capital, which is like inherently theft, or that Walmart holds the goods and therefore that they're holding it from people who. Uh, deserve it for less than they're paying then um, the problem no, no, no. with that then is like it sounds like no not not what you're saying sorry, right? but what I'm saying is like I, I just feel like it's kind of difficult to get the concession that I think just generally shoplifting should be a social taboo if we're why, making exceptions well, why for the violence necessity happening to the staff? I, I think it should be both shoplifting usually correlates with increased violence if there's I more shoplifting there's usually more what, violence what kind of violence what's I'm happening gonna, well, well, well for example I used to work for, for oh example my God, Sunday, I, I can give an example talk. but I can give an example okay but I, I want to hear from Ali 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 but, but, but Ali, he, Ali, he asked Ali, before you got it right Ben Ali go ahead but yeah no so I was so like when you say violence is happening to the staff what, what do you mean you can't just say like a statement like that what's happening well, when I worked at Walmart, what do you for mean? Example, what's happening? Like they get it, like either get verbally I, attacked or they get like uh, punched or they get like, physically weapons. Physically, so, yeah, physical violence. So, yeah. so, so even even at the level, even at the level of, of an like, even at the because, level of an because then it stops being Ellie, shoplifting when you're Ellie, when you're harassing or Ellie, attacking somebody. The thing I'm Ellie, saying, Ellie, is please, that, I'm on your side, but this is a losing argument. Even Let at him the make level, it, God damn. But he did already. Even at, the, I'm sorry, you can't keep up. Even at the level of of like an interaction not actually taking place, where like f people come to blows. When I used to work retail, what would typically happen is typically guys would come through, they would pick up their stuff, and one of the first things they would grab would be a baseball bat from the sports aisle. You're not gonna cost somebody with a baseball bat on their way out the door, yeah. right? Like that happens. 
So that's a losing argument. The issue is not that shoplifting isn't violent. Obviously, it is. No, no wait, is, that's not a losing argument. My argument is that the retail worker should not interfere if you see someone taking. But you're something talking legal. about you're, nobody here is arguing that the retail workers have an obligation to report or to accost people. I think Lauren. I don't is. know whose side you're on here. I think yeah, Lauren is nuts. actually making. Well, Lauren, Lauren is Lauren is on that what? side. The I'm against that side. And Loner saying that vi and Loner Box was saying that violence is incurred due to due to harassment from shoplifters. I'm mm -hmm. saying that if someone is coming in and just taking something that is shoplifting if someone is harassing the worker that stops being shoplifting that becomes assault that's a different that's a whole so if different I'm going, crime if i'm going anecdotal sometimes oh like not anecdotal like just by definition no. i'm just telling you no i'm being anecdotal i'm just saying oh, that like from experiences that i've heard and people that I've, even people that mm -hmm. i've known who worked in retail called, like hold on. Hmm. It's, hold on just one thing it's not considered assault it, you have shoplifting shopkeeper's privilege which allows you to temporarily hold someone for a reasonable amount of time in a reasonable manner to ensure uh that they didn't take any items if you have reasonable belief that they did i don't, don't think that, that should be a that responsibility true in of the worker yeah, that should is. be a hired security yeah, that does right. that Bro, so i'm losing my mind listening to you talk about who you think it should be the response what you think about this is so irrelevant to the conversation. It really isn't. Um, yeah. It, yeah. Because you're who, putting the okay. responsibility who on the work that's going to Who is responsible? Who is responsible for turning somebody in? So first of all, the customers have that option. Nobody. Employee, everybody in everybody involved. Option. They're not the responsibility. Everybody. It's, everybody it's involved to owns the. Lauren and I want to hear what Lauren has to say. Everybody you, else you has to. Time. You have to interrupt to get a word in. What do you mean? You don't. I mean, I, I've been I, more of a moderator than Sunday, you have. You've put your Sunday, thumb on the scale, been, Wick. Okay, Sunday, what you've been doing is you've been interrupting literally everyone, so no one knows what anyone else's point is because you have to interject every single goddamn time, and it's interrupting the flow of the conversation. But I want so to hear, you. And I want to hear what you have your to say. Your job is but as I also a moderator. Want to hear what other but you're interrupting people. Say. What and you're, I need you and to you're do giving right arguments now, in favor of one side over the other. Because you will either do it voluntarily or you will do it involuntarily, is you will need to shut the fuck up and let other people speak, but you can interject later. Lauren, finish. Okay, so you do have shop left, or shopkeeper's privilege, and that does vary by state. That is true. California doesn't even have <sighs> that anymore. That being said, it's no longer a privilege. Okay, go ahead. Go. What did you want to say, Allie? So I, what I'm saying is, is like it shouldn't be a thing. The shop, a, right, a worker. Right. Let, me, let me get back. Yeah. Okay. Right. Let me cover that. Right. So who it should or shouldn't be required mm -hmm. to turn it in is not relevant to the conversation. Now the, the customers who are not shoplifting, they have the moral, like, in my not even view, moral. moral. Okay. They're not legally required to turn anyone in. Sure, fine. They're not legally required to. That's your and that's just the case. And you personally think that they're moral morally they shouldn't even turn anyone in. That that's a different argument. Now, when it comes to the employee, that's based off their contract. If the contract in their con in their employment agreement says that they are required as like the shopkeeper to also participate in security, then it would be their requirement. Require because contractual. So yeah, agreed. Would be their responsibility. So agreed. Yeah, would be their responsibility. Okay. Uh, okay. So you do because you said it was now. Their oftentimes that is not put into the contract because when you're hiring someone to be a manager, you're not hiring them as trained security. They are not supposed to put their lives in, the, in danger to protect your profits. That would make absolutely okay. no sense. So while well, I was talking, when, when Loner Box was talking and we was, he was saying that there's violence being incurred, I'm saying that it becomes a different crime. Now, if the worker approaches the shoplifter, which I think you should not do, that responsibility should not be on that shop, on that person because they should not put their life in danger. That's all I'm saying, that, the, that, 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 that that's their fall. When you're saying it should not be their responsibility, what if it was contractually in their in their employment agreement that you are not to let people steal you are to do your best that's the company's policy them. fault that's that's the fault of the company policy that should so not be in the policy that should not okay, be in so the policy you you're not paying someone as a security okay, so you're paying them if, to manage your what store if, what if they're paying them extra what if you're then that then money? that's okay if then then that's fine if that person took it upon their responsibility but most people don't even read their contracts that then thoroughly when they're getting a job at walmart okay so 
in that situation, employee's responsibility is to stop the shoplifting, okay? okay. Then is it okay? No, it's for not. I want to get no, it's not. Hang on. Wait, wait. No, no. If you no, pursue no, a shoplifter, you will be reprimanded. Contract. I'm sorry. You get a job wait. at Walmart. No, you're not expected. You're not. You're not getting paid to do it, and you're not expected no. to work security. I'm sorry. Have you? Saying in a situation where you are oh paid God. to to handle the register there and also prevent shoplifting and maybe you're paid a bit extra because you have extra job responsibilities what? then do you think that's that not how that works in your hypothetical sure in your hypothetical that sure absolutely is how that works president sunday welcome to like retail Wait, I guess no, it's not. in your hypothetical sure. sure is they usually not tasked with what loss prevention and security is tasked not. with stores typically Wild. Have so what items. you've only worked at like nordstrom's and like large you've never worked at like a um, like, uh, like, the mom in, and in pop, a yeah. Store. No, I have, yeah, I have, like, and that wasn't under our like job responsibilities. So, when you work retail in a mom and pop short store, they don't tell you that you need to prevent shop, like, prevent theft as well. Have yeah. 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 you yeah. ever yeah. worked yeah. a retail yeah. job yeah. in your yeah. life, yeah. lady? Yeah. Of the worker to prevent that, yeah. that in the UK for sure. Yeah, okay. it is not the responsibility of the worker to prevent that, especially if you get if you get if you get injured usually the liability that the the shop is going to assume if you got injured trying to prevent somebody from shoplifting that ends up being more costly than if you had just allowed them to steal the item that's why they don't instruct them to do it that's why in california okay so what you're talking about is very different and that shows that you're not working at mom pop stores that shows that you're working in like large retailers no i worked at a pharmacy there's mom pop pharmacy yeah so a lot Okay, so you're, you're not, not obligated in mom and pop shops to stop thieves. Not even in retail. Okay, not so in the mod, so, like in Laguna, so when I worked retail Laguna, you have small <gasps> stores. They're usually owned by one person. What they do mm -hmm. is they usually find like a couple of merchants from another country. Then they purchase in in bulk from them, and then they sell at a higher price. It is literally only one person in its tight margins, and they they pay you more than minimum wage, but they also anticipate you to. Try your best to prevent that. Yeah, and you're supposed to maybe in Laguna in Beach. Can I just answer your question from earlier? Yeah, that's the reason it happened in, in, Loner, in like I smaller. Want, I want to hear from Loner, and I want to hear from Ollie because Ollie had a question to Loner. And well, Loner it was my responsibility. Hold on. I... So it was my okay. responsibility yes. if I saw somebody steal it. So. But, so you agree? It was my. You responsibility assumed that responsibility when you accepted that contract and the pay. Okay. Right. Yes. Cool. So on average, people don't have that responsibility or that pay this. extra. I think we solved this. Let's move on. What the what the fuck is your point in bringing this up? So if it's contractually required, the average worker doesn't have the responsibility okay, gang, to stop gang, uplifting. Lauren, that is my argument. Lauren, Ali, both of you, please. I want to get some other people in here as well. You can't. Again, we want to want to keep the conversation sense. flowing. I understand, but we it's move on and we'll 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 redress it later. I promise you, loner. You wanted to answer the question. Go ahead, and I know Max has been trying to get in too. So loner than Max. Thanks. Go ahead. Yeah. So people who work in retail are not safe from violence just because they turn a blind eye. If you have a shoplifter, a lot of what they want, like alcohol, batteries, razors, are behind the counter, and that often involves the shoplifter having to either threaten or attack the retailer to get their. Good. That's why there is. That's why there's a. It's shop. It's just, it's so they can shoplift. That's why. Armed they, robbery. I, that's why. Not shoplifting. Let, let Loner finish. Let Loner finish. That's, Loner, go ahead. Why I was saying earlier, that's why there's usually a correlation between shoplifting increasing and violence against staff increasing. So that's why I have a problem with earlier on when you saw this thing with Twitter and the whole, if you didn't see anything. Um, the problem there is, is that it seems like uh, from a lot of people, particularly people on the far left anti-capitalist wing, is that the position is kind of just like um, shoplifting is either basically acceptable or just like based because fuck capitalism. Whereas I think a much more reasonable position to be like a general rule should be that shoplifting should be a social taboo. Does anyone disagree with that? And we can maybe explore that or no, but can I respond? No, I don't disagree, but I didn't, I don't think you should be conflating shoplifting and like petty thievery with armed robbery. Um, what about so you, uh, Carl Max? Do you think shoplifting should be a social taboo? Uh, again, I think it should depend. Um, like, <laughs> I mean, look, if we were to like put in, in put in policies in which we knew that people were always getting enough food and that kind of thing, people always had enough resources, I would agree. Yes, it should be a taboo because then people don't actually need that. But while we do have things like the failing American food stamp system, uh, which is, you know, uh, it, it's it's hard to get to. Uh, like, you have to be working a shit ton of hours, even if you've got kids, you've got to... Um, 
you, know, you, you only get like a pretty small amount of money, especially in certain states. Um, like while these things are possible, while people are still, you know, going hungry, I think it's okay for, for shoplifting to exist. But I mean, if you folks are uh, pro putting policies, like a, I don't know, a fucking UBI or something, so people can make sure, like you make sure that people will always be able to afford food, then yeah, we can say that shoplifting is like a bad thing. But you need to take those steps to make sure that people don't end up actually doing it out of necessity first, you know? Then you so can I say think- it's bad. I think apart from Lauren, I think most people would agree that like if you're in a Aladdin's situation and you need to eat to live, then yeah, you uh, and you need to steal to eat, then that's probably fine. But generally, yeah, yeah but like that. that's but not really ahead. that's an exception to like a pretty general rule because I think the, most people in America and the UK from? don't need to steal to like be fed. Yeah, anyway. Right, but only like 10% of people steal anyway. Like, it's not like everyone is stealing. I mean, the, the, and, and like a, a pretty large proportion of people who are stealing are people who are, who are, okay. <laughs> who have Do money you think trouble. that when all these, question, when all these Carl. retailers are increasing their security and putting their prices up or even closing stores, is that just like hyper, is that hyperbole to you or what? Do you think that's not Well, just we, like we've not already issue? had the data that demonstrates it from the store owners. This is not due to shoplifting. This is due to expending uh, enough also, resources and preventing there shoplifting. Was, that that's for one. not that's not account for all of them. Most retailers we haven't seen data in support of that either. So that's you, that is a statement that stands in need of some kind of of some kind of quantitative. I can give you a source from the UK that says shoplifting has been increasing this year. You keep year, on making but. a point about how shoplifting correlates with everything else going up and getting worse. You're saying like shoplifting is what drives up the price. How are we to say that if people aren't just shoplifting more because the price went up? That's usually how it correlates. You keep on taking these things where like you're acting like people like shoplifted and then ruin the economy. Like the economy can't do that on its own. Like I'm if not people that respond they, to the conditions that they're in, they're not like creating them by just shoplifting it's incredibly like that's like a, a such a minute problem in the, like the large scale of things that's causing one of the to conditions one of the conditions that we're in is that shoplifters generally even if they take thousands of dollars worth of goods at once are getting away with it that's one of the conditions which means people are more likely to do it right do you disagree with that I mean, yeah, no, I think that... that well, I mean, you and me, for example, like, I don't dealing. think you and me, if we perceive that we can get away with it, would therefore shoplift any chance we get. Well, we're not like, the entire statistical, like, sample of a country, so, yeah. No, yeah. I, I understand, but it's not simply the case that every single individual within a country, if they perceive that they can get away with it, will shoplift. Will That's more or less... Everyone, come on, wait, you're smarter than that. But so if, if you're, you know if you're, if you're talking... No, no, but if, if you're... If you're if you're saying that the perception that people can get away with it will necessarily cause an increase in the amount of people shoplifting sort of an aggregate and that will simply extend to everybody that 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 simply doesn't follow. Well, generally, people commit crimes for a number of reasons. One of those reasons is that there's not enough of a, de- of a deterrent, right? Necessi- and it seems necessarily, much of a deterrent for necessarily, a necessarily. So but deterrence just deterrence just can be multifarious. It's not some people be- steal to make to, yeah, but to turn a profit. That's one reason people might steal. People sure. steal to cut drugs. But we're, we're now we're now we're talking yeah. about motives as opposed to deterrence, right? You you switched. Well, you kind of, but you need like you need both. They're not mutually exclusive. No, they aren't. I think exclusive. the problem that people are talking about when it comes to retail theft, organized retail theft, is that there is no deterrent. And this is what retailers are saying. This is what governments are saying. This is what politicians like the problem. Uh, this is what law enforcement says is that it seems to be very easy to oh, get away with disgusting. stealing thousands of dollars worth of stuff. Is that- I mean, them locking up stuff behind security things that you have to ding the employer for is a deterrent, no? That's one, well, that's kind of like a deterrent, but that also means that you have to pay for extra security, which and the price gets offset on goods. Well, not necessarily, that's because it's not typically not security to... that has the keys to the case. I also it's typically... typically... No, 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 no typically that's actually the opposite. No, no, that, that's, the, that's the opposite, though. The expense is the case. When you go, for example, to the pharmacy sale and you have to buy condoms behind a case, very embarrassing, by the way, um, you have to talk to a retail employee. You're not talking to a security yep. guard. That's the person which who unlocks the case. To hi- which means they had to hire more employers to run around the store. No, they don't. No, 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 no. That's, that's not true at all. That's which not true why, at all. Which is why I think wow. it's, um, personally, I'd rather not have to get every uh, everything in a shop from behind a case. So I'd maybe prefer that... Um, at least for a start, the repeat offenders, which seem to be making up like a very disproportionate amount of the thefts, is that they can either be put in jail where they can't shoplift anymore, or they can get fined to a point that it's not actually worth the risk to do it. Wonder what sentence, out of like curiosity, what sentence do you think is appropriate for like a repeat offender for theft? Six that hasn't even exceeded. A... That hasn't even like exceeded a felony amount. I haven't thought about a particular number. You have to spend a week with Aaron. I have to get back to you on that. Based. They have to go on a wick panel, okay? One wick panel for one uh, thievery charge, okay? 
Okay, that's what has to happen. Um, Lauren, you had a question, but I want to get to Max. So Lauren, ask your question if it's yeah. quick, and then we'll get to Max. And I see, I see, Aaron. Uh, we'll get to you too. Don't worry. Okay, yeah. So you're so President Sunday. You're like, oh, they're not hiring more people. They actually have the same amount of they employees. Aren't. So they aren't. you want you're like all the employees are the proletariat, and we should protect huh? them. And no, no, no. Employees are our employees are lump and proletariat. You got that kind of mixed up. But go on. Okay, fine. Are the, employees the, lump and proletariat? Yeah, they're like retail the, workers. They're the unskilled. Employees are struggling no, that's not what. And <laughs> is it not? I thought no. lumpen proletariat was lumpen like the proletariat guys are like so fucked by the okay. system that they we can't don't even, even know work. the they're question people, because you're deciding like, we're arguing they're about they're what doing doing she's meaning by a specific the word. Let no, 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 the, no, the lumpen. No, no, hang, hang on, wait, 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 wait. The lumpen proletariat are just those members of the proletariat who are lack awareness of the collective. This has nothing to do with the question. It does actually. Wait, quick, please just shut up for one goddamn second. So very quickly, as as a point of information, this is important. The lumpen proletariat are those members of the proletariat who lack awareness of themselves as a class. So, for example, when you have lumpen proletariat at like retail workers who are policing other lower class people for example chasing them out of the parking lot because they're shoplifting yeah. meat those would be lumpen proletariat sorry the, as you so, were lauren <sighs> what is the okay. question so, well, ask your question again please yeah so you're saying they're not hiring more people they're just making those employees do a significant amount of more work exactly that's here. exactly what they're doing you're they're saying, making the limited number of employees well, they already have do more correct so you're pro so you're for that because if you're for no, I'm not. shoplifting and therefore <laughs> i'm not for so shoplifting i i i presented in my opening statement if you'll recall arguments against shoplifting no just okay, lauren so thinks that the only reason that they're doing that is because of shoplifting no well i mean no, i mean that is the only reason, reason why they're doing they it that, that is shoplifting that's correct why else would they put them behind cases gosh. they're not putting them behind cases because they're not shoplifting yeah, they're putting them behind Madam. cases because they're shoplifting. <laughs> if they were prosecuting the shoplifters, they wouldn't need to put them behind cases. But you're not for prosecuting the shoplifters, so you are for putting them behind I mean, cases. You're presupposing that if we lock the them all up, put the, the shoplifters behind cases. Finally, can I finish the sentence? <laughs> finish the sentence, Aaron. Is that okay with you? No, because you're presupposing that if they locked up every single repeat offender and shoplifter, that they would go back on those security measures. When in reality, they're probably going to be here to stay. If if those repeat offenders were locked up in the first place, they would have never needed the cases. That's, that's so true. If so locking people up helps crime, nice how come America's America? got so many people locked up but so many criminals still? It's it doesn't work. The American it's justice so doesn't work. I feel like yeah. for different crimes, you have different like mm -hmm. problems and solutions, right? Yeah. Right, but do you folks agree that we should be instating like real solutions, like fixing the welfare system, or perhaps something like a UBI? Because if you are against shoplifting, sorry, go on. What do you mean? I don't know why. Whenever we have these discussions, people like feel like you have to just choose one or the other. I mean, like I don't know. Like I, I didn't do criminology for that long, but one of the prime examples they gave us of like stopping a crime epidemic, like the knife ed epidemic in Glasgow, was that you can approach it from both ends. One end was that they gave like uh, apprenticeships end. and social programs and things like that to get people off the streets. The other side was the um, negative reinforcement, which is that they took a bunch of people who were carrying knives and gangsters and jailed them for twenty five years to set an example to the others. I don't know why one excludes the other. Like it's you yeah. can do both. Both. And with the because shoplifters, repeat, with repeat offenders, it seems to be the case that they're some of these people are just kind of incorrigible. Like, yeah, maybe they just need to be fucked off so that they can stop but stealing on masks. Yeah. I'm sure. Definitely, we no, not definitely. definitely, but at least they should well, be jailed. No, they should. They should have. What you're saying is that they need to be fucked. I'm they not saying be... incorrigible, like, like forever. No. But like when they come oh, back, they're let's just say, no. Let's say I'm going to be charitable and I'm going to I'm going to say that it's actually just a, a minority of shoplifters who are doing it out of necessity. Let's say 30 percent. If there was a policy you could instate to get those 30 percent of people to stop shoplifting because they no longer have to, would you would you do that? Would you be willing to to support that and advocate for that? I, think... I see people complaining about these things a lot, but then they never actually propose an actual solution outside of like just punitive, you know. Do you think I haven't? Shit, right? pro well. I don't think anything well, we don't disagree. So personally, it. we don't disagree with like the UBI okay. and welfare measures and things like that. Yeah, we don't disagree yeah. with that. Well, but, but, it seems but to me that we disagree a... with the punitive measures. That's why I thought it'd be more interesting to explore that one. But you, I wanted just like a recommended sentencing guideline for some someone who's like a repeat offender like three times or whatever for petty theft that hasn't even amounted to more than like a felony amount or a few hundred well, dollars. Well, Aaron, you're not listening to me. How many times did I say organized retail theft? Like. Repeat How offenders. much of uh, shoplifting is organized retail theft? 
Do we? Because I tried to find think, statistics. Okay, but, do we know okay but the difference between the I don't know as a percentage, but we do know that it's like uh, hang between, on, hang on. anything between like twenty and seventy it billion is dollars. Rising. Like, yeah. well, it's the lot. difference, the difference between organized retail theft and non-organized retail theft is literally just there are multiple people involved in the collection of this material from the store, right? So the question, yeah. the relevant question is, what kind of sentencing would result in either deterrence or a cessation of organized, in particular, retail theft? If you don't added have charges that you, you get added charges for organized retail theft, and it depends if it's cross state or and how many people. No, no, I, I understand. No, no, I understand that there are. I understand that there are different consequences. The question is, are there consequences that work? What's the threshold? Because this this is the reason why this comes into play. If the argument is that shoplifting at an organized scale has some kind of com community, like constantly some kind of community harm. And if your response to that is some kind of increased penalty or some kind of specific penalty for that, either you need to demonstrate that this actually has a positive impact either on the community or it diminishes okay. the amount of organized theft, yeah. or you are doing so for retributive yeah, reasons, work. which by the way is an argument That's you can make, it. but you need to make it. I mean, You're how hard me. of an argument is that to make? I that wasn't it's asking. I was just saying so. That's not really like a difficult argument. It's clearly, what? but. So when you're clearly what? What's so clearly what? That, the one, uh, hang on, what, I, I didn't catch what you said. Because you could keep talking when she's talking. Of course you can't hear her. Well, she because was talking when I was talking, talking so I How couldn't hear her. Can anyone hear what no, she's saying then. over the sound of your that fucking that voice? Is, is, they can't hear you. Dude, it's it's not a hard argument to make that it's retributive because. Yeah, in the scenario that you just laid out, then what other, if it's not going to actually deter the theft, uh, the increased, uh, like, sentencing guidelines is not necessarily to, I mean, it can be to prevent, but honestly, preventative me measures, it doesn't really show. There's it's very just little data. It's administrative justice of God. There's very little data that shows that increasing the uh, sentencing range for a crime actually deters the crime that much. What actually deters crime is the number of police officers and the likelihood to get caught. So mm -hmm. if you're going to be uh, increasing, right. so yeah. So you're I saying assume. that you have to actually show like data wise that increasing the sentence would correlate with a decrease in shoplifters and that's just not how laws are written or what is necessary to increase the sentencing i don't i don't know how that was addressing anything that i said but i have Lonar, give it a it shot was, it was literally addressing the exact thing oh my god did you go to law school no <laughs> okay no. Lonar, give it a shot I Loner, think uh, apparently shot. last year and into this year, I think like nine or 10 states have put in laws to increase the sentences for organized retail theft. I think it seems to range from like a few months to over a year. Or, yeah. mm -hmm. Seems okay. I wouldn't have an issue with that. Maximum of 15 years in jail. Do you have a, do you have an issue with that straight away? If someone is continuously being caught um, for stealing and the, again, they, it doesn't seem to stop them. They get caught, they do some community service, they pay a fine, but the next day or the next week or the next month, they're back at it again. Is there ever a point where you say, okay, time for jail? Uh, yeah, Who went is. to jail? Who went to jail for the sweatshop in Bangladesh? Aaron, Aaron, you, Aaron, answer my question, please. Oh, yeah, I said there is. There is, there well, can be cause or whatever. Line? Like working, working sure, within line? the framework of the like American legal system that we have now. I want your moral what, line. I don't care about what 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 it what is. I want I want you to tell me what, what ought it ought to be. To be. It ought to be, please. I mean, ideally, no. Like I, I don't think the majority of people need to be locked up for so nonviolent crime. Steal the United 1, States has times. like. 1,000 times come and, and go into a store, break into Walmart, no. break into Walmart. No, no, because you're you're assuming that I. Wait, wait, you're you're presupposing that just because I don't share the same opinion on like what the punishment should be, that there should be no attempt to remedy that person from repeat offending. What I'm asking is, if your remedy does not work, is there ever a ch uh, is there ever a point where you uh, go? The question towards... is, if my remedy doesn't work, a rehabilitation or providing people with the resources that they need to deter them from stealing, yeah, then yes, I then yes, I would look at okay. uh, more punitive measures if that was such what meaningfully jail. deterred crime. Yes, yeah, such as jail. Okay, if that me enough. if there was data that suggested that that meaningfully prevented people from repeat offending, yes, I would. What do you there's think, Carl And uh, Ali? Yeah, I'm curious what Max and Ali think. Uh, Max, where is the point 
uh, where someone has repeatedly stolen, repeatedly, mm -hmm. again, has been caught for this. Um, it's been proven in court that they've done it. They keep getting 30-day community service. They keep getting fines. At what point do you say, okay, no, just throw this person in jail? Is there a point? I, I mean, I think that you... Uh... It, it depends on on what what like what you've tried, right? With like pretty much any of these cases that people will like mention, uh, I mean, there there will be like a, a a quantity of people who do just like compulsively do bad shit that can happen, that can exist, and those people probably do need to be like uh, protected in in a way that they don't end up you know hurting other people or bringing harm to themselves in some way. Um, but um, for for the large majority. This just isn't really the case, and you can usually figure out how to uh, how to solve these um, how to solve these issues. But yeah, you know, for some people, maybe heavier sentencing would be necessary. But I think in the large, large, large majority of cases, you could find another like economic or rehabilitative solution. I think okay I'll leave that in your... for, uh, actually for um, prison. But uh, let me ask directly just to make sure. Uh, what's your answer to this question, Ali? I'm curious. I think it kind of it, a little bit depends on the amount and the like repetition. Obviously, if someone's stealing like fifty cent bag of chips, I don't really care. I don't think they should be jailed. But if someone's uh, stealing enough and they do it repeat three times, they went through um, wait. Community so service every day, than be jailed. So every day so a man goes time. into Walmart and every day hmm? he steals a bag of chips. He doesn't need to, right? Like it's just what he does. Um, there's off. no point in time where you don't throw this person in jail for at least. Like I'm not gonna lie, nah, over a bag of chips, and I really couldn't. Okay, fair enough. I'd, That's your answer. Yeah. That's your answer. Okay, excellent. Um, gang. Loner box, you're okay with a 15 year sentence for organized shoplifting? I think that would have to be pretty extreme if it was. There'd have to be some violence involved. Like, in how that much product 15 is years. worth 15 years in your judgment? I don't know if it like if it turns a neighborhood into a food desert by closing the only place that's close to the people in a certain community. That's pretty fucking rough. But no, yeah, generally but that's not, fifteen that's years. Not like, why they would be and if they fucking beat years. someone up while they were doing it, no, I don't like think a, wall, years a Walgreens, a Walgreens, or a Walmart or something like that's going to be more likely a, a a contributor to it being a food desert than than the opposite. Well, retailers can close if the shoplifting that they, if they might lose in shoplifting doesn't make it worth it. But either way, I'm generally not for like massive punitive measures just for their own sake. I would. Fair enough. I don't know. I haven't thought much about how many years, but fifteen doesn't yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. extreme. That's fair. that's fair. I'll take it. Okay, gang. This has been a pain and a show. Uh, I want to make sure panel. to respect everyone's time, and you guys are talky, so I'm going to give a little extra time for closing statements. We are not ending the show. If you need to go, I understand. But if you'd like to stay, there's some people who want to come on and question you, and we will do that. So if you are in the audience and you want Boy. to interrogate some of the guests. Uh, please feel free to jump backstage, hit exclamation Discord, uh, Discord and chat. If my mods can please throw my Discord link into the various chats on Kick, Twitch, and YouTube, uh, please do so. And gang, if you're liking this content, like this, like, subscribe, do all that. It's been great. Don't steal this content. Do it, uh, you know, buy into it with at least a like. That would be nice. Okay, fair enough. Um, but with that, um, yeah, so we're going to get to closing statements. Please tell people where they can find you because a lot of people want to sign with you. And thank you for the prime sub, Royal Air Horse. I really appreciate it. Okay, we're going to start in reverse order. We started. Aaron, go ahead. Closing thoughts. Where can people find you? Uh, people can find me on Twitter, Instagram. All my socials are at straighterate or at straighterate underscore. Uh, I just want to point out that when I said joke and jest that shoplifting is the language of the unheard, I'm point I'm I'm saying that because if anybody actually reads the context of what MLK was talking about in that speech, the other America, he says riots are the language of the unheard. But the first thing that he does is condemn the violence of the riots, and I'm doing the same. I'm saying that I would never prescribe or make it a moral maxim that people ought to shoplift or steal, but that it's, it can be an understandable crime. And there, it's more theft in general is more complicated than I think people are willing to admit. In the same way that we can see that not all, like when you kill somebody, sometimes that can be in self-defense, which is justified, but simply killing somebody is not always murder. I wish people would be able to see the kind of areas of gray that, that um, accompany the reasons that people decide to steal and commit theft or whatever. So, yeah, it's my closing statement. Where can people find you? Uh, I'm at Straight Rate on everything, or Straight Rate underscore. Everything. Check her out. He's great. Thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed mm -hmm. it. And please don't be a stranger. Blunderbox. I've said all I need to. It's fine. I'll just give my time to someone else. Hey, okay. Carl, Max. 
Um, uh, well, my name is at Ceremonious Hurt on Twitter, and on YouTube I'm at Carl Max Live. Um, my closing thoughts on the whole thing are that um, I think uh, people tend to, when, when they think about a thing, they often think about it through exclusively one lens. You know, leftists will take crime, they'll think it's exclusively really okay and good all the time. Uh, libs or right-wingers will say it's always terrible and evil. I think people need to, you know, really try and knuckle down and actually figure out what the issues are caused by, what we could do to solve a large quantity of the problem, which, you know, we could via economic solutions and stuff. Um, and uh, that the only solution isn't just to, you know, kind of uh, limit these people's freedom, which a lot of people seem to believe. So yeah, that's all. Thank you. Cool. Uh, thank you for being here. It was a pleasure. We're trying to set something up between uh, Short Fight Otaku and uh, this gentleman, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, President that, Sunday. That dev? Yeah, that guy? Dev. Oh, that yes, I would like that. Yes, we'll see you how will... it goes. I'm trying. Uh, President Sunday, what you got? You will find me skulking around the back wall at Walmart. One box of condoms for every finger, one package of formula for every toe. <laughs> Be based and beautiful. Morally neutral. Lauren, what you got? Um, yeah, I find it sad that uh, this conversation went the way that it went. The area of gray that y'all wanted to point at calling uh, theft, self-defense of the poverty of the system is quite literally insane considering the poorest person in america has not even understood what poverty is like in other parts of the world like africa the, pe the people people here don't starve of starvation the way they do in other countries um can i respond to this oh, it's no. closing statements we're not ending stay okay. if you want to respond okay. but let her have her closing statement my god go ahead it's just quite it's a closing statement like, but all right no, we're not having like mass starvation the way that we see in other we countries starve where there's actually poor people. Um, and yeah, when you mur when you are in self defense with murder, it's because somebody is like literally physically coming at you in the moment when you're stealing computers to later sell because maybe you might need food and also like a vacation. That's not self defense. Um, this entire argument is really sad and retarded. Um, you could find me at. True. Lauren Laguna everywhere at Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. You are a certifiable Thank nutball. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you, and I hope to see you again. Yep. I, yeah. Yeah, I have more degrees than you, President Sunday. Oh. You want to <laughs> walk around with your books? Okay, we can, books we, can we can we can fight in a second. We can fight in a second. We gotta get. We they gotta don't get measure Ollie. mental illness in Ollie degrees, my turn. friend. I'm not gonna steal Ollie's turn, Ollie. Your turn is now. Go ahead. Yeah, so my my argument was never that ceiling is good or that you should do it or any of these like any of these statements, just simply that like someone stealing, it's not on the it's not on the responsibility of the worker or the customer to report or do anything about it. Rather, it's on the, the responsibility of the company. They can hire security if they need to. Uh, you can find me on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Ali the Sigir. Okay, Ali the Sigir. Check him out. Thank you again for coming on my show. I hope you enjoyed it. And gang, like I said, if you like this content, hit like, subscribe. Let me tell you what we got coming up before we end this uh, entirely and we go to open calls. Um, tomorrow, 6 p.m. Eastern, I'm going to be hosting a debate between Sansol and Non-Smoker on the Holodomor. And then Friday at also 6 p.m., I'll be having Turkey Tom, Resver, uh, Flowtrace, and maybe a couple others to talk about copyright and React content. That should be fun. Check us out. It'll be great. You don't want to miss a moment of it. That's and not going to be fun. Said, copyright, really? Another copyright, copyright debate? Dear content. God. What's right. Nonsmoker saying about the Holodomor? Um, you'll find out tomorrow, gang. But did they, did they smoke? Is that why oh, someone oh. was justified? What's the, what's the debate uh -oh. topic? Is there, is there, a, is there a prompt? A, is the, was the Hol was Holodomor a genocide? Oh, no. Okay. Oh, no, oh, indeed. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> pray for Sansel. Um, keep him in your... Uh, Keep in your prayers. Uh, we want him to yeah, do my well. my condolences. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> uh, with that, if you were, uh, like a lot of you, I don't see you backstage, but a lot of you have been DMing me. A lot of you have been blowing up my uh, Twitter tags, blowing up my Twitter DMs, my Discord DMs, saying, I want on this, I want on this, I want to ask these questions. But where are you in this hour of need? Where are you when it's time to put uh, your money, so to speak, where your mouth is? Get 
in my backstage and I'll bring you on one at a time to ask your questions until we're bored with you and then we'll take you out. But please, uh, exclamation point Discord. Oh, we got one right away. What you got? Hello. Yep, you're live. Excellent, excellent. All right, so um, just a quick clarifying thing to the uh, losers that defend stealing. I believe uh, Ali and Carl. Uh, you can get a hot uh, avatar. Uh, wait, what? I knew hey, you if had you a want hot to turn avatar. your camera on and, and let them know who you really are, that's too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. I just got out of the gym. Sorry. I'm just walking to my car. God, I've been listening to you guys. Out of the gym. Yeah. Oh, like, oh. Sorry. <laughs> hey, that hey, way. Hey, I know. You can always catch me. This is why I normally don't do debates and because I'm always busy okay, around this well, time. But anyway, isn't okay. Working, but, All right. Uh, but go on. Please. Oh, it's not? Okay. No, anyway, ask well, your question. So, uh, I want to know. To what degree? Someone said earlier, "Oh, if you could steal from, uh, you know, Mr. Walmart, uh, you know, that isn't it's a real family that made that company anyway." Uh, and if they didn't notice, would that be okay? And I want to know why is that important? Why is it important that if they noticed? Oh, you're asking me about my 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 stealing from Mr. Walmart's house question? Yeah. No, no. Specifically, you said. Oh. Did they notice? You said that yeah. quick. You, you said that very quickly. Like you were, you had that in the chamber. You're like ready, ready to have <laughs> it out. Okay. So yeah. what do you got? Well, my um, I I mean I don't uh, I don't I don't really want to stick with that one. You know I don't think you should be breaking into anybody's house. What? Really. Um, come on. <laughs> I know, but I, I, wait, I will give you some justification though, okay? I think that a lot of people who are like hyper rich do tend to have an excess of things that they might not like ever use. And then therefore if it's something that they never use and then got taken from them and they were never aware that it got taken, I don't think that would actually like matter because they, it would It's just like an object anything. permanence kind of thing. Like, you know, if it never existed in the reality, then it doesn't hurt them. Is that what you mean? Yeah, I mean, kind of, right? I mean, how would they God be offended if they didn't know it existed? Oh, man. So, on that reality, uh, couldn't we steal from anyone if they never noticed? Well, yeah, but most people would probably notice because most people don't have like... No, I'm not asking. No, 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 no. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a second. Why are you adding that? We're not talking about that. We're talking specifically about the noticing part. So, if mm -hmm. you steal from anyone and they don't notice, therefore it's well, fine. That's what you're sticking with. You're gonna have to let me actually give you a proper answer here. I'm not gonna make any like absolute statements like that because that would be retarded and like a really shitty All way right, to Your make statement was point. retarded. That's what I'm trying to point out. Thank you for finally. I know you believe my statement. I mean, you've even got Lauren's support. She's like a Mensa head. But like, still, no. I, 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 I. Uh, I am like the head of Mensa. You're correct. Yeah, I, I do. I have believe it, Lauren. I believe uh, it. I support you. So you're okay you. with stealing valor? I see. Go ahead. We need to put a freeze on Lauren until we can figure oh, out. I, you don't I believe it? In the Air Force. It's not stolen valor. You're in the Air Force. Oh, really? What did you do? Okay. I was no. in the Air Force for six years. So. I, didn't know I only did two years, so you like actually did the Air Force. I only was a cadet at the academy well, for two years. Oh, then you can't even that. She went on a field I'm trip sorry. to You're the airport. In <laughs> you weren't even a, you weren't even an enlisted. Okay, officers don't. Oh, is that officer training? OTS. Fair enough. I should um I should finish my point. Yeah, yeah I mean question, um please, yeah. please. Yeah, I mean it, it depends on on who it is, right? If it's somebody who has so much shit that they wouldn't notice if it got taken, I don't really see why they necessarily need to have all of that. Like if somebody, let's say someone has 2 million Wait, you're, boxes we're not of what we were arguing about. We were arguing about the noticing part. We're not arguing mm -hmm. about to somebody being a mega rich person or that or a super Do you understand how person? if somebody has more money and they can afford more things they'll be That's less aware of the question was my question was trying to about isolate the noticing variable He's trying to isolate well, you can't the variable isolate of it, though. You can't you can't yeah, you, you can't just take like one wait, part wait, of my why point Why can't you isolate that hey, variable I'm that was the most one of the most important parts of your statement like, I could say that I don't have that much money, but I do have a few fairly valuable things in my house that I might not notice for like a year or two if they're gone or ever, really. Well, so. if it was a year or two, right. then that wouldn't count. I'm talking about things okay, that ever, could disappear, yeah. they would never so notice. So time? I'm a bit of a hoarder, so I do actually have a few things that probably I would never notice, but it would be okay to take that. Or you're hot. Wait, 
I mean, yeah, if there yeah, was somebody who might go. like need that item, yeah. you need to go. I have to go. I I'm love y'all very much. Um, I love you too. Sexy man on the phone and loner box. Um, and of course, Wick TV. And I'll say, I'll say, I love you too, Aaron. Okay, oh, bye. Oh, <laughs>